Welcome back to the channel, I'm your host Stoss, and today I've got Dwayne with me. What's up guys, Dwayne Woolley here. Hell yeah, and we are here to play a game of Warhammer Fantasy 6th Edition. Yes. Yes, we're back for another one, and today it's going to be Dwarves versus... Vampire Counts. Ooh, the Vampire Counts, the scary, stinky boys. They're dead and they're coming. <laughs> oh man, super cool. I've not actually played against Vampire Counts before, so... Yeah, um, well, I have played against Dwarves before. Oh, very Good. I hate them. <laughs> Their armor class and leadership, you know, just, just yeah, ridiculous. It's it's you know it's definitely going to be a bit of a problem for the vampire counts with you know fear and exactly. leadership things being you know a very yep. core mechanic of the vampire counts. And so. their runes, which you know destroy my magic yep, as well. Yeah, that is it's, a thing. It's literally the worst army for me to fight. So this is going to be a challenge. This will be interesting. This will be interesting, be my man. Um, so yeah, you also you run a YouTube channel of your own, don't yeah, you? Yeah, sure do. Yep, it is Dwayne Woolley. So if you look that up, it's just my name, Dwayne Woolley. We're all about uh, Filipino culture and lifestyle. So if you want to go to the Philippines, thinking about going there or just interested, yeah, go and check that out. Check it out, guys. Shameless self-promotion. Hell yeah, no, get, get amongst <laughs> it, man. Cross-promotion is how we do. Yeah. Um, now look, if you're interested in coming in and playing a game with me on the channel, send me a message on the Rogue Element Gaming Facebook group. Um, it's, uh, there's a link, a link in the description of the video. And yeah, we'll get something sorted out. Sweet. And don't forget, if you enjoy this video, like, subscribe, you know, hit the bell, do the thing. Let's keep growing this little channel out. But without any further ado, let's have a look at the armies. We'll have a look at the table and then we will get this underway. And here we have my 2000 point dwarf throng for today's game. So starting out with my general, we have a dwarf lord. He's going to be armed with a great weapon, heavy armor, uh, with the, uh, the the master rune of Gromrel on it, making it go to a one-up armor save. And he's got a runic talisman with the master rune of Spite, giving him a four-up ward save. Then moving on to the battle standard bearer, we have, um, he is armed with Gromrel armor with the rune of stone, making his armor go from a four-up to a three-up. And he has a runic hand weapon with the rune of fury giving him plus one attack and the rune of cleaving giving him plus one strength. He's a bit of a beast, he's a bit of a boss. Let's see how he goes today. Moving on to the runesmith. There he is, the runesmith. He's got a great weapon, Gromrel armor with the rune of stone giving him the three up. And he has a runic talisman with the master rune of balance, which means that he will be able to steal one power dice from my opponent and put it into my dispel pool. Hopefully resist some of that gnarly, gnarly death magic. But we'll see, here we go. Moving on to the core, we have two units of dwarf warriors, heavy armor, great weapons, and full command. One at 20 and one at 19 strong. Finishing off the core, we've got the Thunderers, 10 of them with shields, no command. Moving on to the special, we have 18 Iron Breakers, full command, and they have the Rune of Battle on the standard, giving them plus one combat res. Continuing along, we've got 20 Slayers, full command. Then in the artillery sections, we have a, ooh, a grudge thrower. It's got the rune of accuracy, allowing it to re-roll the scatter dice. And it's also got a rune of burning on it. So, you know, I thought maybe I'd be coming up against some ethereal stuff today. So we will be doing magic attacks. We'll see how that goes. Um, and then we have the dwarf cannon with the, uh, ooh, what is it? It's the rune of forging, allowing it to re-roll um, the, ooh, the misfire, Me re reroll the misfire once per shooting phase. And then lastly, the rare slot, it's the old organ gun. I bring it every time, I love it, it's still here. And that is it, that is 2,000 points on the nose for the dwarves. And here we have Dwayne's 2,000 points of vampire counts. All right, take us through it, Dwayne. All right, first of all, we have a vampire lord mounted on a zombie dragon. Ooh, my God. So he is the general. He's worth a total of 435 points with Ooh. the zombie dragon. Um, he has, he's a level three wizard. He's got forbidden law. He's got a gem of blood, which will allow me to rebound a wound onto whoever caused that wound. Gnarly. And he's got a, a bunch of other stuff. He's basically, he's a level three wizard, but he can cast four spells and 
uh, what was the other thing? Oh, and it generates four power dice, Correct. right? Yeah, that's right. Level because three of all the extra stuff. that acts like a level four. <laughs> Very good. And he's got a, a little dismounted version there as Correct. well, just in case that dragon goes down from, I don't know, cannonball. We'll see. <laughs> <laughs> Very good. And awesome. we're going, we're going uh, Nekrak, is that right? Nekrak, yes, yes. They are the family line. Excellent. Obviously. Okay, moving down to the rest of the characters. All right. Next we have our Vampire Thrall mounted on a Nightmare. Very nice. So he, uh, he has Nekara's Noble Blood. Um, that, makes, that basically allows him to cast a bit more spells. Sweet. Um, normally vampire thralls can't cast spells, so that works good for me. Oh, very good, yes. Lots of magic, vampires. Correct. Uh, next up we have a necromancer. Again, a magic man. He's a level 2 wizard. Um, yep, that, that is him. So we have a level 1 wizard, level 2 wizard, and level 3 wizard. Yes, lots of magic, lots of wizards. Awesome. All right, moving on to the troops. Correct. We have here a special unit of Felbats. Six Ugh. Felbats. Beautiful Gnarly. things. They're going to do... Lots of cool stuff with their flight and two attacks and things like that. Gross. Terrifying. Excellent. <laughs> Next up. These spooky boys. Yes. The spirit hosts. Ugh. Ethereal swarm. Gross. It's the best swarm in the game. Yep, or never. if you're playing dwarves, the worst swarm in the game. <laughs> <laughs> never leave home without them as a vampire counts player as far as I know. Correct. Terrifying. Next we have our banshees. They are our rare units. Two banshees. Excellent. Ready yeah. to rock and roll. They don't get anything extra because they are already pretty terrifying. Do they are the they spooky are. ladies. They're coming. Next up, we have our Grave Guard. Heavily armored Grave Guard. Now, they have a magic banner, which is the banner of the Barrows. Hell yeah. So that allows me to hit on a 3 plus no matter what. Excellent. It's the one fantastic. to take for sure. Correct. And so are they just heavy armor, hand weapon, and shield? Correct. Excellent. Sure Excellent. 20 of them. Next up, we have 10 Die Wolves. With a Doom Wolf in the front. That's a Chaos Hound that I've converted. Hell yeah, dude. That's our awesome. Doom Wolf. Hell yeah. Uh, then we have our Ghouls. <laughs> ghouls, we have 20 Ghouls. We've maxed out the unit size. They have Poison Attacks, which is going to come in handy against that bloody armor save. Yeah, that's <laughs> we'll be up it, against. Mate. The thick boys of the dwarves. Poison will get through it. Correct. They are, however, our only alive unit in the game. So oh, the only so unit weird. that can that's flee. Right. They're not undead. They have to take leadership tests and do the whole thing. That is odd, yeah. Oh my god, that's so funny. They're, they're basically just cannibals in this edition. Hell they? yeah. <laughs> weird, inbred cannibal men. That's <laughs> right. Gross. <laughs> And Last then finishing all, it off. We have uh, 30 Skeleton Warriors. Heck yeah. No, sorry, 25, my bad. 25 Skeleton Warriors. LG, LG. And they all have spears and a light armor. Sweet. Spears, light armor, shields. And is it just the standard bearer in terms of command group? Correct. Yep, just the standard bearer, no musicians. Sweet. No awesome. Terrifying. The spooky boys, they're coming and they're slinging spells. And that is it. That is 2,000 points of the vampire counts. All right, we are rolling for the spells for the the Necrock vampires, and this has been the first roll for Correct. the um, for the vampire lord. Correct. So first up, we have Curse of Years. That's my personal favorite. Gross. Thank you very much. Um, next, we have the um, Van Hell's Dance Macabre. That's also amazing. Yes. Um, Gaze of Nagash. Don't really like that one. Not really that useful to me. The, the magic missile. Yeah. Yep. However, this one is very useful. Yes. Raisin zombies yes, and skeletons. Yes, it's left the right classic. Center. Yes. Very good. All right, sir. So we've got those for the Lord. Uh, let's keep rolling it for the rest. All right. The uh, necromancer. Level Here two necromancer. Go. Ooh. Reroll re one. Okay. So he's got hellish vigor and gaze of Nagash. So hellish, hellish vigor basically, um, um, someone a unit within close combat uh, gets to attack first, even if they've been charged. And reroll great weapons. And um, yeah, and, get to, and they get to re-roll attacks. Correct. Right? Yeah, that's, that's yep. pretty solid. So that's good. Hell and yeah, he, man. He has Gaze of Nagash as well. Yeah, that's very good. Another magic missile. There's going to be a few of them bad. coming out apparently. And now the, now the vampire th thrall. The thrall. Ooh, Ooh, he's got, he's the, got curse the curse of years. years. Lame. All right. All right. Well, I'm, I think I'm what I might do there because he doesn't have a lot of dice to use. I might change that to the one. Oh yes, which, which, which is... I, which I can do here. Yes, of course. Um, yep. And what is that? That's just raising zombies. Yes. Raising undead. Awesome, and there it is. That is the spells for the vampire counts this game. And here we are all set up for this 2,000 point throwdown between the dwarves and the vampire counts. 
So, uh, the basic kind of narrative that we've got going on for uh, this game is that the, uh, the, the vampire counts, this, you know, this Nekrak uh, coven of vampires, are preparing for a, a full-scale assault into the Empire. But before they can do that, they are seeking a book, a tome of power, which that has uh, resided deep in a burrow in the mountains, out in the mountains. And those mountains happen to be quite close to this Karakhern throng's stronghold. And the dwarves have, you know, the, the rangers, the dwarven rangers have been sending back messages to this throng of dwarves, letting them know that the dead are moving through their mountain passes. And dwarves are having none of that. They're not having the, the nasty, stinky dead men coming through their mountains. And so we have marched out to stop them. Um, probably having little to no knowledge of the, the tome that is here, but all we know is people are in our backyard and we ain't having it. <laughs> And so that is it. The, the, the Nekarak Coven is here to get the Tome of Power and we are here to get them out. So uh, the way that we deployed and uh, or more so set up the, the battlefield this time is we rolled off um, and the winner of the roll off picked a piece of terrain and placed it on the table. And, uh, and Dwayne won the roll off and immediately grabbed a forest and whacked it right in the middle. And so I grabbed a hill, popped it down. And then Dwayne grabbed another forest and popped it down. And I grabbed the second hill and so on, on we went. So yes, I've got, you know, double hill in the deployment zone. We've got double forest out in the middle. And then there's just a piece of very difficult terrain there, the rock, you know, the, the rubble pile over here and then difficult terrain out on the flanks. Um, as always doing a house rule that uh, units are still allowed to march through difficult terrain. Still halves your movement slash quarters your movement for very difficult, but marching is allowed. So, uh, going through the deployment, on the dwarf side we've got slayers on the flank, we've got the organ gun nestled in between the slayers and a unit of 20 warriors. Then we've got artillery hill, we've got the grudge thrower and the cannon. Then we've got the unit of warriors led by the runesmith, general's unit of iron breakers with the battle standard bearer, and then right out here on the flank by himself <laughs> are the thunderers. Um, so, Dwayne, take me through uh, take me through your deployment, sir. All right. So maybe starting over here. Over here on the far, my right hand side, we have a deployment of direwolves just out there in the open. Very just, good. Just chilling there, ready to ready to eat some dwarf meat. <laughs> More like eat some steel. <laughs> we'll see. We'll see. Next, we have our skellies, unit of formidable skellies with spears and light armor. Heck yeah. Just um, next to the direwolves there, so kind of kind of back them up, but we'll see what happens. Very we'll nice. See. We have our ghouls right behind the woods. Very nice. Um, the because they're skirmishers, they you know obviously want to try and walk through the woods. That's Indeed. their specialty. Um, yep, group of ghouls there. Next to the ghouls, we have a lone banshee. Gross. You're kind of just sitting there ready to scream Lame. some dwarf ears down. And Don't next to it. them, we have our grave guards. Very and nice. our grave guards are joined by a hero, which is the necromancer, level two wizard. Heck yeah. Um, they're going to just, yeah, sort of come straight down the center there and we'll see what happens. Hell see if yeah. we can scare some dwarves off. Yep, scary grave guard. They're, they're very much lining up against my, my general's unit in the middle here. Correct. Uh, moving on, we have just behind the forest here, we have a banshee. Cool. So we have a banshee ready to sort of float through the forest, and then speaking of floating, we have our spirit hosts. Terrifying. Which are always, you know, gonna sort of float around the battlefield and see who they can pick on. Yep. Lame. Um, we have our felbats next to them, our flyers. Yeah. They're gonna be flying across the battlefield today. They have a bit of flying to do to get there, but um, yeah, they, they move quite fast. Indeed, they do. And the wolves do not move fast. No, we don't. <laughs> <laughs> Behind. The forest and behind the the fell bats we have our general and the zombie dragon. Yeah. Now yes, Necrarch's Necrarch vampires are a bit um, more tactical, I guess, than aggressive. Indeed, a little less fighty. Correct. Some a people call them thinky. pussies, but you know, <laughs> uh, we'll see um, who the pussy is at the end of this game. Indeed, we shall, sir. <laughs> Indeed, we shall. Um, just to his left, we have our uh, vampire thrall mounted on a nightmare. Excellent. Level one wizard who is also uh, a bit squishy. So he's just going to keep his distance and chuck spells at everyone. Love that. 
Yes, yeah, so yeah, the, the first drop was the uh, the, the fell bats out on the corner there. Correct. And then I popped my thunderers, and then you just started stacking up real heavy <laughs> on this side, and thus the dwarves met them as well. So my little thunderers are right out here by themselves, <laughs> and they're going to cop all the flyers. Um, I didn't know what to do with this. I was like, well, the fight is here. I don't want to just sacrifice it out on the flank. <laughs> it maybe would have been a better choice putting it over there, but such is life. It's over here here and it's going to chew up some dogs and some skeletons and that is it that is the deployment this is the battlefield and that was the narrative all that's left is to roll for first turn are you, you ready go. Dwayne are I you am ready? ready excellent yeah, ready. dwarves are getting plus one to the roll here we go Hoa! a three to a five no! oh I my god make it. very nice so uh you have the choice sir who's going to take first turn um, I, the undead will definitely take first turn. Expected, <laughs> expected. Very nice, sir. The, uh, the undead have stolen the initiative on the dwarves. So, we will be coming back with Vampire Counts, turn one. Vampire Counts, turn one. Obviously, no charges to declare. So, this is where everything is before the movement phase. And this is where everything's ended up. All right, Dwayne, uh, take us through it. What has happened here? All right, so first of all, dire wolves have run up on the flank. Very good. Um, second, we've got the skeletons. They've kind of marched up, trying to head towards the slayers there. Ooh, very good, yes, lining up with the fight. Everything. Correct. Love that. Ghouls have just sort of entered into the edge of the woods here. Excellent. As they're going to come out on the woods next turn, hopefully. Indeed. Um, our banshee's sort of gone with them, just sort of next to them, off to the side, just floating through the trees there. Very good. We have our graveguard. I've moved forward a bit with our necromancer, heading towards that general unit. So yeah, scream yeah. as they go ahead. The big fight. Correct. Our felbats have flown over the woods there. This big sort of storm behind them. Gross. As all the undead approaches the door. Hell doors. yeah, they're coming scattering through the woods out of the mountain pass towards the, the you know, the entrenched dwarves. I love it, it's thematical. Correct. I love it. Correct. Our spirit hosts have, all, have also sort of floated out amongst the woods there, sort of moaning and things like that. Heck yeah. Along with our banshee as well, our other banshee. Yeah, ready to scream from just the wolf. Wolf. Like, just like, you know, drifting through trees and slucking out the other side. <laughs> That's right. Gross, terrifying. Our general is hiding. Yeah. Behind <laughs> some uh, bushes Smart. here. Smart. He just Smart. moved up and he's hiding and he's ready to cast some magic spells. Indeed, it is the Nekrak way. That's know, right. Staying, staying safe, thinking about what he's doing. Yeah, exactly. The other Nekrak as well, being very careful, just sort of staying behind the army and just, you know, going to help them on their way so heck yeah that is the movement phase that is it that is the movement phase done that coming back with the magic phase vampire counts turn one magic phase all right sir tell me how you have created your your pool of power all righty so first of all we have two dice basic power dice yep very nice we have three power dice for our level three wizard but he gets an extra dice because of the um the stone he has indeed um we have two more power dice for our level two necromancer. Love that. And we have a final dice for our uh, vampire thrall. However, the dwarves have stolen that one. Yeah, we have. Yeah, that's <laughs> what we do. Very good. And yes, my dispel dice pool is four for the uh, the basic racial hatred and resistance that uh, the dwarves have to magic. One for my my runesmith, and then the cheeky stolen power dice from uh, the, the Master Rune of Balance. Nice. All right, so I've got six Dispel Dice to your, what, eight? To my one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. To your eight, yep. sir. All right, where are we starting? Cast some spells, mate. All right, uh, first up to cast a spell is our level one wizard. Um, and right. he's casting, he's just got the one he's, spell. He, yep, he has the one spell. It's called Invocation Neck. So I can choose to cast on a three plus, seven plus, or 11 plus. Very good. So I'm gonna go with the seven plus. Seven plus. Because 11 plus is, is, yeah, it's is pretty lot. hard. It's a lot. Um, and he's going to create a new undead unit uh, 18 inches away. Fantastic. Okay, that's yep. what he's doing. All right, so sir. we're going to go from 2,000 points to 2,100 points, hopefully. <laughs> <laughs> Very good. Here we go. Looking for a seven. Ooh, Ooh nice. That is roll. definitely a seven. Indeed, so it is. Six, sir. seven, uh, eight. Looks like 11. 11. You got must it on be 11. 11. Yeah, look, I'll. Uh, I'll. I don't want you raising those dead straight away, so I'm going to commit four dice to it. 
And I do still... Oh no, a double one! Double one is Ooh. a fail! No, so I failed to dispel it, sir. Okay. Is that a miscast or no? Uh, no, no, no. There's, there's, no, no, there's no miscasting for dispels, but it okay. is, you know, a double six is a, a irresistible dispel. Yeah. And yep. a double one is an automatic fail. Fail, okay. So I works. failed yeah, it. Cool. Runesmith, what are you doing, mate? <laughs> <laughs> you had one job, that was it. Come on, mate. Come on. It's all right. He's, it's his first round. He's not ready yet. He's not used to dealing with the up. death magic. You know, it's, it's, it's gotten past his strength. <laughs> but that's all right. All right, man. Well, uh, yeah, raise your thing. What are you raising? All right, we're raising skeletons. Skeletons, how many? Raising skeletons. So um, with this, I roll 2d6, and that's how many models are raised. Fantastic, sir. All right, so let's see the 2d6. Let's see what they are. If it is four or less, yes. nothing happens. Oh, geez. Okay. Okay, so that's the only downside with the right, spell. So don't do that. Ooh, it's that's, a very good roll. That's 11. That's a very good roll. Right. <laughs> Yeesh. Okay, so we'll be back once 11 skeletons have been raised from the, the earth of this table. And there they are. There was obviously, you know, there's a, there was a, you know, as there has been in all of the old world, there's been many battles. And there was one right here where a bunch of people got cut down and boom up they've come pushing through the earth and 11 skeletons have risen next to the fell bats oof all right mate good start to the magic phase dude very good very, very good. good all right let's continue what is next all right next up we're going to cast with our um our necromancer very good what's he casting um ooh, i don't think you can reach though but we'll see uh he's casting gaze of nagash ooh, so okay. basically these bolts of dark magic leap from his eyes. Love that. And scorch the victim's flesh. flesh. No, <laughs> so not that my has, flesh. <laughs> <laughs> that is a range of 24 inches. So that should hit unless... So, whoa, 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 you don't measure until everything has been uh, cast. Until I've rolled it. Yeah, yeah you okay, roll yeah, it yeah, and yeah. I choose okay. to dispel it and then we measure. Okay, let's do that. So it's a cast on an eight plus. So he's a level two wizard. So, so can, can use cast. three dice max. However, um, I'd like to save some power dice. Makes sense. For the general. So we're just going to cast with two. Ooh, needing an eight. Here we Let's go. see it, boss. Eight plus. That is an eight. Getting it on a ten. That is an eight. <laughs> Yeesh. Um, well, lame. Um, well, you've got three dice left and I've only got two. I guess I may as well at least try. Because I think you've walked within 24 inches. Here we go. Come on. I need, oh Jesus. I need a ten. <laughs> I need a ten to stop it. Give me a ten. I get a nine. Oh. No. <laughs> God damn it. Oh, first magic phase is not going good for the dwarves. Warren All right, Smith sir. is not on his game. At measure the it up. So I'm assuming they were the target, right? Correct. Yes. Yeah. Yep. And so 24, that is definitely inches. 24 inches. Boom. Yep. Yes, indeed, well sir. Range. What is this? 2d6 strength four hits. Uh, that is. Let's have a look. It is 2d6 strength four hits. Very good. Look at that. I know my stuff. Kind of. <laughs> How many? Hey, oh. it's about time some of your rolls went poorly, mate. It's about <laughs> time. Right. Thank God. I'll take three. Only All right, three so hits. it's going to be three hits, uh, wounding Strength on fours, because four. toughness four dwarves. Uh, All right. Let's see it. Oh, three of them, mate. Jesus, Jesus, oh. settle down. So one more, <laughs> one more. Don't get the next one. Ah! Oh. Oh. <laughs> Yeesh. All right. All right. Yeesh. Um, so they have a three up armor save, which okay. would be negative one by strength four. So three, four up armor saves for the iron breakers. <laughs> oh, they've done it. Yeah, hey, all right. I can roll dice too, mate. Doesn't I can do it. Like pierce their armor. <laughs> no, Here we go. They okay. raise their shields. They hunker down. A little shield wall is formed as the, the, the like purple blue light just buzz, smash and just radiates off the shields over the top of them. Beautiful. Good start. Well done, boys. Nice. All right, sir. So I'm assuming you've got maybe one cast left or something. I thing. do, I do have one cast mm, left. What's so, it gonna be? Ooh, ooh. Yeah, you know what? Screw it, I'm raising more skeletons. More skeletons, sir. <laughs> well, I have no dispel dice, so I am at the mercy of your Fantastic. caster. Fantastic. Raise them skeletons. What are you going, the seven right. again? Or are you gonna go higher? Hmm. Yeah, I'll go seven. Okay, I'll play it safe. Very right. good. Go I'll play it safe. I've only got three dice, so if you I'll play could, it um, safe. If you could pop them out here somewhere yep. for me, my friend. Sure, here we go. Uh, casting on seven plus. He gets it. He's done it. He gets it right. on a eight. And All right, so raising two d six skeletons within eighteen inches. Correct. Lovely. So um, raising two d six skeletons. So you're gonna you're gonna beef up this unit. I don't. Oh, can you? Because it can, has to be lost yeah. lost units, I, right? Yeah. So I can I can do um, I can either add to an existing ah, unit, perfect. or lost wounds, so or yeah. more here or a new unit. What are you I'm doing? Chuck a new unit. New unit. Yep. Very good. New All right. Unit. How many, mate? Two d six. Let's, Let's pop it uh, right in the middle here. 
Oh, another <laughs> ten! Oh god! There is have ten skeletons. The, 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 the dark magic is strong in this area. There has obviously been a lot of death and battle here. You know, the dwarves they 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 uh they guard their mountain passes jealously, jealously, and apparently too jealously because they have killed a lot of things here, and they're all coming back. They're all coming back from the ancient dead. Yeah, all right, so we'll be back when this another ten skeletons arrive on the table. And there they are, another 10 skeletons raised from the earth. Terrifying, oh my god. Good magic phase, dude. That Definitely. was gnarly. So, that you know, everything's just floating out of the forest. Suddenly, two whole new units of freaking skeletons just raised in the front lines. Oh, it's scary. It's the scary vampire boys. Very cool. Very cool. Um, and so with that, that would be the end of the magic phase. There is no shooting phase because, yeah, your banshees are too far away to scream and the, the, the zombie dragon's breath weapon mm -hmm. also back there ain't going to do it. Um, and there's no combat. So that... That's the end of the turn, mate. That was a solid first turn, my friend. Yeah, well, it was great. Yeah. It was solid. Fantastic. Some big rolls. Hopefully those are your last ones for the game. <laughs> <laughs> but that is it. That is the end of Vampire Counts, turn one. Dwarves, turn one, movement phase. As per usual, we have no charges to declare, at least not at this stage. So. This is where everything is prior to the movement phase, and this is where everything ends up. All right, so the slayers who have, you know, committed themselves to butchering nothing but undead wolves <laughs> from the game <laughs> have just done a reform to get, you know, just to start facing them, really, because they're... This is their lot in life now. They're coming out here to defend this cannon and butcher wolves. It's not really what they wanted, but such is life. Um, the Dwarven front line, this unit has just done a full reform to face down everything and keep it in its front arc. And the two units of warriors have followed suit, just wheeling and getting the front line. Boom. Following where the actual fight will be. Thunder has stayed still. Cannon stayed still. So that is it. That is the movement phase done. Coming back with the shooting phase. Dwarves turn one shooting phase. Guess weapons first, as always. And I've already uh, thought about what I'm doing with them and made my guesses. So we've got the cannon who is dialing its shot directly at the Banshee. And because the cannon has a rune on it, it is considered to be magical damage. Um, it has the, the, the rune of forging. So, and I have guessed uh, 17 inches, 17 inches directly towards that howling banshee. And then for the stone thrower, the grudge thrower, it's going to throw its grudge right into the center of those fell bats. I figure that they are my most immediate threat, so I've got to do something about them. Um, and I have guessed um, 26 inches for, for the, uh, the stone thrower. So look, let's, um, let's start with the cannon. Um, could you measure me out uh, 17 inches, sir? If you could just measure 17 oh. inches and pass me the tip. And all right, that is 17 cool. inches. That's not bad. I'm pretty happy with that as, a, as an initial puff. So the way this works with cannons is I roll this artillery dice and it's going to go that many inches further forward. Ooh. And that's where the initial land is going to be. Then I roll it again and that's where it bounces. And it's the bounce that usually does the damage unless I land directly on top of it with this first dice. So it is going to go another Oh, eight inches Ooh. forward. Ooh, it looks like it might be landing right in front of her. Could you could you measure out eight yep, inches from that dice, that. please, sir? Uh, pretty much on her. It's on her? Yeah. Yay! It's pretty much oh, on her. Thanks, yeah. man. Appreciate it. And then from there, it would bounce an extra four inches forward. So it does nothing, anything from that, but it does hit her. Um, what is Very the toughness? Nice. What's the toughness of a banshee, uh, of a sir? A banshee. The toughness of a banshee is... Only three. Only three. Yeah. All right. I'm going to be wounding three. this banshee Ooh. on a two. No! <laughs> <laughs> no, God <laughs> damn it! Okay. All right. So the cannon just kind of skimmed her shoulder. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, phase. it just went straight through her hair. Just, <laughs> whoosh, just cut a path directly through her hair and then threw into the forest, felling a tree. Mate, God damn it. Look, <laughs> look, I'm happy with the shot. You can't account for rolling ones, people. God damn it. Okay, all right. Not the best start for the dwarves. Okay, so let's go with my stone thrower. And my stone thrower said 26 inches. 26 Ooh, inches directly 26 to the inches. center of those bats, sir. Uh, right. That's so, pretty much right on his wing there. Mate, hell yeah. yeah. What a Smashed shot. In. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. But, all right, so 
it's landed right in the middle. That's exactly where I wanted it. Good guesses, but let's see what the dice say, because the dice decide what happens. <laughs> so I roll the scatter and artillery dice, and it's going to go that many inches, inches in that direction. And I've got a chance to get a direct hit. A direct hit is absolutely what I want here. Come on, give it to me. Two inches back? Mmm. Okay. Well, look, I'll, I'll re-roll the scatter dice, hoping for that direct hit. Looks like I'm going to hit something no matter what but I want the direct. Give me the direct. Nah, exactly the same. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we are fully covering one bat. So one bat is definitely hit and I've got three partials. So three more are gonna be hitting, getting hit by this rock on four pluses. Lame, I get oh, one, damn. I'll take it. Um, so that's two bats are hit. Um, what's the toughness of these bats? Uh, toughness of the bats. Toughness three on the yep. bats. All right, it is a strength four stone thrower. Um, and the, one of them was hit directly under, so strength eight. So that one's getting wounded Ooh. on a two. Come on. Yes, good, a two. <laughs> and the other one is getting wounded on a four. Yes, Ooh. I wound them both. Hell nice. yeah. Um, I'm, there's no armor saves from stone throwers. So no. these are D6 damage a piece. So D6 for the first one. Two, and that's, D6 for the second one, six. So that's, that's wounds, is it? D6 wounds, yes wow. sir. Do they have yep. two wounds apiece? They only have two wounds apiece. That so is two dead bats. He's gone, he's gone. Heck yeah. Damn. Well done, Stone Thrower. Huzzah, a little bit of something for the dwarves. <laughs> that was great, that was great. Hell yeah. Good stuff. Um, okay, let's uh, let's move over to here. Yeah, no, nah, I'm not gonna risk a misfire. I don't think that's 18 <laughs> inches, so we're gonna, we're gonna leave the organ gun, the organ gun for now. And we're gonna come over to the Thunderers. Thunderers Ooh. are going to shoot at those bats um, because cause scary, scary bats. Um, so it's gonna be rough though, because there I've definitely, I maybe was in 12 inches before, but I've shot them out of 12 inches. So <laughs> gonna be over half range and shooting at skirmishes. So it's gonna be negative two with a whole bunch of shots. Here we go. All right, needing sixes to hit because negative two on their basic four up is sixes. Oh wow, oh my god, Ooh. I get four of them? <laughs> okay, okay, wow. I'll, I'll take it. Four Yeesh. hits. Gnarly, um, and they are strength four handguns to toughness three bats, Ooh. so wounding on threes. Oh, I get all three, that's another two, wow. and all four, that's another two dead bats. Oh, uh, wow. Yeesh, okay. Ouch. Okay, wow. Stone um, thrower and, 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 and thunder guns, mate. Well. They've, uh, they've done Taking the, the bats as they come through the trees. Ooh. So yeah, there's puffs of smoke, a dun, 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 dun. couple of bats go down, a rock, whoosh, boom, directly onto the head of one bat and splintering into shards, killing another one. <laughs> Heck yeah, I will take that. Very Unlucky nice. cannon, but nice, nice. That is a dwarf shooting phase right there. Hell yeah. Beautiful. And with that, that is the end of dwarves, turn one. Vampire counts, turn two, charges to declare. And we've got one, don't we, bud? We do. The Felbats want revenge on those Thunderers. Oh, very good. So they're going to charge right up in there. Heck yeah, they are. And yes, the Thunderers will stand and shoot. All right. Um, so just, uh, I guess, let's do a quick measure to make sure, sure. that you yep. are that outside of 10 inches. Oh, you definitely make it. And you're outside definitely of 10 inches, it, yep. so they do get to shoot. However, they are going to be hitting on sevens. <laughs> um, which is not the best, because they are still shooting at skirmishes. Four, eight, ten. The shooting at skirmishes, you're over half range and standing and shooting. So hitting on sevens. So hitting on sevens means I need to hit roll sixes. And then after, if I get any sixes, I need to roll those into a four plus. Ooh. So the likelihood of me getting much damage here is low. But let's see how we go. They rolled sixes good before. Can they do it again? Two. <laughs> two? Okay, look, I'll take two. Got two. Two's not, not the worst. Not bad at all. All right, and now we need four pluses on these. Couple of four pluses. Come on. Oh, jeez. Drop dice never count. Okay. Four pluses. Give me both. Give me both. I'm greedy. Oh, oh I get them both. Oh, oh, my God. Oh, my God. <laughs> Threes to wound. If I get both of these, oh, I've killed wow. another one on the way in. <gasps> no, oh, I've just oh, done close. a wound. Very I've done close. a wound. So one of those is down to one Wounded. wound remaining. Sure. I'll pop a little dice on them so yep. you know. Cool. Um, all right. Sweet. So, Very hell nice. yeah, I'll take a wound. Could have killed right. two though, could have killed one. But look, um, <laughs> we'll be back once we have moved in our charges and after the remaining moves. So, this is where everything is before the movement phase. And this is where it all ends up. All right, Dwayne, take me through it. Maybe let's, uh, let's work our way from left to right. What's happening cool. over here? So first of all, doggies have run up to try and attack them slayers. Excellent, yes, fast cavalry style, just boom, taking their wheels and doing what they like. 
Correct. Next we have our skellies doing the slow walk because they're just too far away from the general. So Indeed. they're still the undead march. The rattling shuffle. And that's it. And we have our ghouls that are coming just out the edge of the forest here now. <laughs> There's the woods, ready to eat some dwarves. Yes, indeed. Get some of that dwarf meat, that porky, you know, beer-infused <laughs> dwarf meat. Exactly, <laughs> yes. Um, we've also moved our graveyard up, uh, just, you know, just to the edge of the forest as well. They're going to back up our skellies. Excellent, or yes. Or our, you know, our squishy things. Yep, the second wave, the strong wave. Correct. Um, the skeletons have done a march, now that they're within eight inches of the general, 12 inches, sorry. Indeed. Uh, they've done a march up to face the dwarves. Excellent, just Fearless forcing the issue, putting themselves right in front of me. Correct. Gonna have to deal with them. That is correct. Um, our banshees have accompanied the skeletons as well. Indeed. On their march, ready Shweep. to scream Shweep. someone's ass off. And Jesus. we have our uh, spirit hosts have floated out of the forest just behind the skellies. Indeed, this preparing a very for the second wave. Terrifying scene at the moment oh man horrible yeah you know <laughs> skeletal corpses have pushed their way out of the ground and then shuffled forward well actually move forward quite fast because of the the presence of the vampire right. and then yes the floating spirits are just whoa, coming up besides them the big boys holding up the middle and then yeah the uh the the master yes the the, the general has shown his face Flies and he is down on his zombie dragon. Boom, landing down, whoosh, and just sending his minions forward. And now the dwarves know truly what they are facing here, not just the shambling dead, but a great lord of the undead. Correct. Terrifying, terrifying, and uh, your, your, your little thrall on the side yep. has just pushed his way up as well. Correct. All right, cool. That is the movement phase. This is pretty horrifying. Can the dwarves hold the line? Keep watching to find out. <laughs> Stay tuned for the next Stay episode. Tuned. Yeah, that's right, that's right. Maybe next game you'll see. Nah. Um, all right, sweet dude. Are you happy to roll straight into the magic phase? Sure am. All right, Let's so you've it. got your power pool of eight, and I've got my dispel pool of six. Okay. Yeah, we'll go with our vampire lord. Oh, very good. Starting with the lord. What's he, what's he slinging? Um, he is going to sling uh, Van Hell's Dance Macabre. Ooh. Which enables the undead to effectively march or charge. Or charge if Correct. they're within range. Love that. Is it like a, do they just do a march move or is it a 2d6 roll? It is, I believe they, they move eight inches. Okay. So that can be a march, that can be a charge. Sweet. Be whatever. Yep. Love that. All right, so sir. We are casting that spell on, on a nine plus. On a nine plus. He can you can cast use, with four dice he if can, he wishes. because he's a level three. Correct. But I'm going to cast with three dice. Ooh, okay. KG, what do you need to cast this? Nine. Nine. Yep. All right. Straight up nine. Here Good we luck go. Good and right dark god speed. <sighs> no, you don't get it, does not man. do it. Oh, ouch. It does not do it. Okay, that's that good for the shame. dwarves. That's a good start. That is very good for the dwarves. Okay, um, what do you want to do next, hmm. sir? All right, we're going to cast Curse of Years. Oh, dear. Because screw these dwarven bastards. <laughs> <laughs> Indeed. Um, um, who's casting Curse of Years? Which uh, which caster? He is casting. Yeah, Curse he's of going years. again. He's failed to yep. channel one spell. He's not happy with it, and he's doing Correct. it again. He's going to try and cast Curse of Years on the general unit. Very good. Okay. So, what's the range of Curse that of is Years? Twenty four inches. Yeah, yeah. I reckon you got that. So we'll um, should we roll it and then measure? Oh or? yes, always. Yeah. Yes, All sir. Right. Cool. So you're rolling four dice four this four time. Dice. Very good. good. Casting on a ten plus. Ooh. So this is a wicked spell. Spicy. Oh, he's Mate, got it. You've got it with big numbers. That is. That's 11, 12, 13. 14, 15. 15. The dwarves He's want to try 15, and... of course. We don't want no, that. Because, no. actually, tell me, how does Curse of Years work? What exactly okay. does this do to me? It's I'm nasty. sure it's not good. It's, it's very nice. I'm sure it's not good. So, once to, um, yep, it can be cast on an unengaged unit within 24 inches. Perfect. Um, if successfully cast, the enemy swiftly starts to age. Wow. Uh -oh. <laughs> very quickly. Um, we roll a dice for each model in the affected unit. A model will suffer a wound on a 6 plus, no armor saves allowed. Okay. Now, what's nasty is this spell remains in play, and every round it remains in play, it goes from a 6 plus it to a 5 It gets worse, plus, right? And then yeah. a 4 plus, all the way down to a 2 plus. Gnarly. So they're going to age. All right. So no, it's been cast. That Let doesn't me see sound if it's good. within range. Oh, no, no, you don't, you don't measure range until I've decided to dispel. Oh, okay. Because if okay. I decide to dispel oh. and I throw my dice, it turns out it was out of range. I, I've wasted this. I, I found this you. out from yep. last game. I did cool. this wrong last game. Everyone right. corrected me. Thanks, everybody. Cool. Uh, so... <laughs> So I need to try and dispel it before we even see if it's in range. I'm pretty damn sure it is. So I am going to try and dispel it because that doesn't sound good. Now, because it remains in play, it does mean that on my turn, I could potentially try and dispel it, 
But because I don't have wizards, I don't gain any dice except for my basic two. Which means that on my turn, I can throw my two and only dice to try and dispel it, but I'd need to get a 10. Because it was Correct. a 10 to cast, is that Correct. right? Yeah. Gross. So now I can't let this just happen. I've got six dice left, and you've got what? You've got <laughs> one dice left? Because um, you I have three and then uh, four? Three and then four, you yeah, so one, one dice, dice left. left. Yeah. Um, well, nah, I'm just going to throw them all. I'm going to throw them all and Ooh. hope for no double ones. No double ones, come on. Resist! I do it! I get away, oh, is that? Oh, it's 10, 15, 16. <laughs> I do oh, it, it's gone. It. Oh, no oh, curse no. of years, he's yes. Done it. Woo! Oh, wow, that was lucky. That was lucky. That was Hell lucky. yeah. Turn two, magic phase. We're doing Spirit. all right. All right, you've yeah, got one need... dice left, so what do you um, want to I do? do. Um, we're going to add some more skellies to the unit, I think. Makes sense. Um, yeah, cool. Beef them up. So let's do that. We're going to cast this on a three plus. On obviously. a three plus. And that does not oh, count. that's a fail! Oh my god! No. <laughs> magic did not Dude, work this turn. That was brutal. That was Yeesh. brutal. Okay. No magic. Okay, vampire counts magic phase turn two was not what you needed. Oh boy. Correct. Oh boy. Okay, but um, we've got some screams now, right? We go we into do. the shooting phase. Yep, shooting phase. We've got a shooting phase this round, and it's um, Banshee Whales. Correct. They're both going to shoot. So, all right. So pick one, choose a target, do a thing. I got. An, uh, I imagine I kind of know what's happening here. Yes. <laughs> all right. Yes. All both right, Banshees well, are screaming down the general. Let's start with this one. So the way this works is you roll. Two d six. It's an eight inch range. You roll two d six. Add two. Plus two to the whatever you roll. And, and for minus every your point, leadership. Yes, every point mm. that you beat my leadership by is wounds, automatic wounds done with no armor saves. Correct. Here okay, we go. sir. So First then, bench, she's screaming it up. Leadership 10. Let's see it. First one. Oh, oh Jesus. <laughs> An 11, Plus 12, two. 13. So three, 13. Three, three wounds. Three wounds. So, so you just kill three brave iron breakers. You melt their brains. Their brains Jeez. come like squidging out of their ears. Blah. All right. Scream the second, mate. Scream Let's see it. Settle down. down on me, would you? Oh, yeah, no. Okay, no worries on the second it. one. They found their nerve after the first. They were a little unprepared <laughs> for the wail of the banshee and three brave iron breakers, not as brave as they could have been, succumb to the wail of the banshee. But after that, after seeing their men die, they, they, they embolden themselves and they get their nerve and they manage to resist the second scream. But that is it. I believe that's it, right? Is that the, that's the uh, end that of the is, turn? Yep, that's it. That is shooting. Ooh, that's me okay. done. And a super Not unlucky good. magic phase, bro. Very unlucky. But at least, you know, that was a pretty decent roll in that scream. Second scream. Definitely. Not so much. Yeah. But that, oh wait! We have a combat phase. Oh, we do have a combat phase. I completely phase. forgot Correct. about the bats. We do, yes. All right, sir. Let's uh, let's roll into the, the combat on the hill. All righty. The fell bats are coming in. Okay, here they are. Two attacks each. So that is four attacks all up. Yes, sir. They weapon have skill. a str uh, weapon skill. Three. All right, they're going to need fours to hit, sir. Fours to hit. Here we Pop go. down here. Getting two One, hits. Oh, two hits. Two yep. hits. You got cool. the average. That's good. Strength three. Strength of three. Yep. Strength three. You're needing fives to wound the thunderers. Ooh. You do get one. One wound. You do get one. They have light armor, shields, and hand weapons, which gives them Ooh. a four up armor save. Ooh. Four up armor save for the dwarves. Do you raise your shield? We do. Oh. It bounces off. We raise the shield and the bat swoops and bounces off it. Very nice. Oof, all right. We've got five dwarves coming back at you, sir. Five dwarves swinging back at them, needing threes to hit because they're weapon skill four dwarves. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay, we get three Ooh. hits. Not bad. Not bad. We are That'd strength three to, to your toughness three. So, yes, perfect dice. We'll kill them. I doubt I can get perfect dice, but here we go. Fours to wound. Oh, almost, oh, almost. Two wounds. I do kill one and put a wound on another one. So this one here is gone. And, and this wound wounded. pops across to that one. Correct. All right. So I think I'm going to crumble them, though, to be honest, because combat res wise. Combat res wise, he'd be dead. Yeah, I've got Correct. two wounds. I've got a rank. I outnumber you. And I am on a hill. He is so, well so dead. He crumbles. He just crumbles. The bat match. crumbles away. Oof. Well, the Thunderers have done it. Mate, they've done they it. They have done it. Wow, okay. All right, that was that was a spicy turn for the dwarves. That was <laughs> that was pretty lucky. Pretty damn lucky. Indeed. But that is it. That is the end of Vampire Counts, turn two. Dwarves, turn two. Charges to declare, and I've definitely got some. So the, the general's unit is going to declare a charge into the skeletons directly in front of them. The runesmith unit of warriors is going to declare a charge on the skeletons directly in front of them. This one I'm not 100% on, but I'm going to try it. And they are going to declare a charge. 
into the ghouls. That ghoul that has just stepped just out of the forest has maybe given me what I need. We'll have to measure it up, we'll have to see, but we will measure things up, we'll put it all in during the remaining move step. There will be, oh, I need to do leadership tests for everybody. Do the ghouls cause fear? Uh, the ghouls do cause fear. They do yep. cause fear. Everything's going to need leadership tests. Well, let's do that on camera. All right, leadership test for the general on 10. Oh, that is clearly cocked. Woof. Yep, yeah, eight. They're all right. They'll be attempting it. Leadership test for them. Also using the general's leadership of 10. Getting it. This one, I don't think I'm in range for the general's leadership. I'll roll it and measure if need be on a 10. <gasps> they may be fear. Oh my God, I'm gonna have to measure that out. Oh, that's so bad. I don't think I'm within 12, so they'll probably be standing right there. Yeah, you wanna, okay. you wanna hit it. And so it's from the general. Oh, I think I'm in. Well, I think you are. I think I'm in. Think just yes. In, yeah. Oh my yeah. God. Yes. They He's just right. get it. Holy crap. That was super lucky. <laughs> I mean, we don't even know if they're in yet, but everyone at least has the courage to try. <laughs> so, all right. Leadership tests are passed. That's a big deal. This nice. is where everything is before the movement phase. Ooh. And this is where it all ends up. All right. The slayers on the flank have just reformed again to keep them in their front arc. Um, the, uh, yeah, everybody made it. Everybody made it. This was like, <laughs> like a quarter of an inch, not even quite a half an inch of like, they'd just been enough, like just enough. So boom, in they went and the, the skirmishes have formed up around them. Look at it. Yes, the ghouls, the dwarf warriors. That's going to be gnarly. And then of course, these two units had plenty of room to just boom, boom, straight into them. Ooh, and that's it. Stayed still. And this is all where it is. So that is it. That is the end of the movement phase. The oh, end nice. of the charge phase. Oh, it's a big one. It's a big one. It's going to be a big turn two for the dwarves. So let's rock and roll into the shooting phase. Um, the cannon's definitely going for the, for the zombie dragon. So I will line him up and what... What am I thinking of here? 18 inches. I'm gonna go 18 inches for the cannon directly towards that zombie dragon. Okay, and what am I doing with the stone thrower? Stone thrower, do I try and paste those, those, uh, those, those horrible spirits? Or do I start thinning out some grave guard? You know what, I think I need to thin some grave guard. They're really scaring me. <laughs> They're scaring me, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna pivot this bad boy right towards those grave guard. I'm gonna aim like, Right for the 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 second guy, the the, the second rank middle dude, um, yeah. and I'm going to say I'm going to say 23 inches, 23, 23 inches, inches for eh? yeah, we're going to All say right. 23. Let's have a look. Let's do it. So the cannon was it? Ah, uh, the cannon. Yes. So we are doing 18 inches for the cannon. Okay. Let me just grab the dice. Thank you, sir. 18 inches. That will be right there. Boom. Yeah. All right. 18 inches has landed it there, going for that zombie dragon. I guess it would be a little more meh. But either way, let's see. That's I'm pretty happy with that distance. It looks like a 10 might go over it, and eight should land on top of it. It goes an extra. That's the wrong die. <laughs> <laughs> excellent, excellent. All right, here we go. Ha! Oh, an extra two inches forward. Ooh, Ooh. that's not good. That's not amazing. Yeah. Boom. Okay, how many inches am I away from it now? Can you measure it for me? Yeah, four and a half inches. Four and a half? Yep. So a two or a four won't make it. I need a six up. Ooh. A six up is gonna have to do it. Come on, it's a misfire. Oh, oh boy. We do get to re-roll a misfire for the rune of forging. Oh, nice. Come on, rune of forging. Give it to me. No! <laughs> no! no! Two misfires in a row, that's horrible. Okay, Jeez. yeesh. That's just evil. God damn it. The dark energies of the I think the you have, I think the dwarves have a mole on their side working for the vampire. Mate, hey, <laughs> hey, 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 hey. That's not what dwarves do. That's not what we do. But all right, so I'm pretty sure it's a four plus will be like, okay. I don't know. I'll roll it and I'll find out. But this isn't good. This isn't good. Don't give me a one or a two. A one or a two is going to be really bad. Don't give me a one or a two. Oh, oh no. Okay, it's not Kaboom. Could have been worse, but it is Malfunction, which means I am not shooting this turn or next turn. So it's going to be two turns before this cannon is getting its work done again. I'm going to spin it around. They're pulling the ball out. They're, they're taking out the trying powder. To fix it. Yeah, man, they're sweating. They're working hard trying to get this thing going again. Not the best. That was my chance to put a nail in that coffin before it ever got to me, but it is not today. All right, let's move on to this one. And uh, I think I said 23 inches. I moved the dice that I used to mark it. This is the problem with having to do it all before you get to measure it. But there we go. Um, so could you measure me out 
23 sure inches, can. please, Dwayne. Oh, yeah, that's bang it's on the... Pretty um, much right on top of it, right? Yeah, yep. Hell yeah. yeah. Oh, my God, I've done, done it. I've done Good it. Job. My guessing's getting better, people. <laughs> I'm learning through trial and error. <laughs> my guessing's been atrocious in the last couple of games. So, okay, let's see if I can keep it there. Right there would be perfect. Come on. Here. Two inches backwards. Not Ooh. the best. Not the best. All right, come on. Come on. Direct hit. The rune of accuracy. Feel the rune. Do it. No. Oh. <laughs> so two inches like towards the corner. Okay. Looks like I'll probably still clip some. Um, look, we'll come back. So, yeah. We'll come back once we've figured it out. Okay, after looking at the template, we have four fully covered. So four are uh, automatically hit. And then there's four being clipped, so four potentials. So here's the in pool, and there is another four getting added to that pool on four pluses. Oh, wow. Oh, Jesus. Oh, oh, oh. Uh, wow. I'm All sorry. I'm sorry, Dwayne. Yeesh. <laughs> okay. Um, so the guy directly under it gets hit on strength eight. So he gets killed on a two. Meh. No. Oh, <laughs> damn it. How does it go? He just kind of stubbed his toe, I think. Okay. Yeesh. Come on. <laughs> Come on. All right. Look, I, you know, I can only be so sad, but I, I got to stop failing two ups. <laughs> this is ridiculous. All right. So this many of them are getting killed on fours. No armor saves allowed. It's just strength four and grave guard a toughness four. So how many grave guard gets smashed by splinters of rocks? Ooh, looks like four. Looks like four, sir. So four grave guard are smashed Ooh. to bones and rusted metal. Get an armor save, yeah? No, sir. No, no armor, armor saves, saves from stones. Dead. Some stone One, throwers. Two, three, four. Woof. Dead. All right, we've put a rank of them down. Not a full rank, but we've broken a rank. So this just clunk and clunks out and does nothing but this one. <laughs> Boom, swoosh, over it goes, hitting directly into the corner of that unit and smashing four of them to splintered bone and rags. Ouch. Yes, we'll take it. That was not too bad. That was not too bad. I can't believe I failed the two up. God damn it. <laughs> God damn it. Okay, let's move on to the organ gun. And the organ gun is definitely going to dial some shots up on those there wolves. Um, do you maybe want to quickly measure me out and make sure I'm in yep. 18? I'm pretty damn I'm sure pretty I am. Sure you are. Yes, you are. yes yeah. I'm in. Yep. Okay, and so the way the organ gun works is I roll the artillery dice and Ooh. that amount of automatic hits go in. So, I mean, technically I should have rolled this first, but I, I was pretty damn sure. Either way, if I was out of range, I would have rolled this because there's a potential that I get that misfire. True. And it being, you know, fairly new, the engineers, you know, the, the, the runesmiths will not touch it. So there's no runes that can be put on an organ gun to make it maybe not be a little bit volatile. So <laughs> I'm looking for something big here. I'm looking for something big. Give me the 10. The 10 would be pretty epic. How many hits go through? Oh, no! Oh, God damn it! No. Okay. God damn it. Here we are. The organ gun misfire chart. It has its own little special one. And this is the one that a one or two is destroyed. Three to four will be can't shoot for this turn or next turn. And this one will just, five to six will just be this turn can't shoot. Either way, it's really bad because I, I needed to put a dent in those wolves before they got to me, but I just need to not roll a one or a two. Just not a one or a two. Come on. Come on. Come on, ancestor gods. <laughs> Grungi and Valea. Come on, three. Oh, it's still not great. So not shooting for two turns, but okay. At least it's not destroyed. But that is it. We'll turn it around as well. Oh, it's not been the best shooting phase for the dwarves so far. Ouch. Oh, boy. Oh. Look, man, this is fine. This is Shoot fine. You, know, you, had a, you had a pretty rough magic phase. Well, that's true. It kind of balances out. The shooting phase is basically the dwarves' magic phase. Right. So, <laughs> so I'll take it. I can take a little bit of balance. That is okay. <laughs> Okay. All right, we don't have much left. All that's left is the Thunderers. Um, ugh, I'm not sure what I'm going to do with these. I made my decision and I measured it up off camera. I decided to shoot at the Necrarch Vampire Thrall. And I am in range. Oh my god, all of them, all of them are in range. Just, like just, like half an inch within range. So they're all getting to shoot at him. And it is just the negative one for shooting over half range because it's only uh, single models are only decided to get a negative one to hit if they are on foot and mm. man size. So because he's on a horse, there's no extra negative one. Ooh. So it is just fives to hit here. Fives to hit the vampire thrall. 
Ooh. Oh, okay. <laughs> That's a few hits. Woof. Okay, I get four. Yeesh. Um, what toughness is he, sir? Uh, his toughness. I'm assuming at least toughness four. I would assume so. Vampire Thrall. Maybe even toughness five. is four. He's four. Yep, it's All right, I'm wounding yep. him on fours. Mm. How many wounds does he have? Two? He has two wounds. Yeah. No armor save? Uh, no. No mm. armor save. All right, so statistically, I should kill him right here because it's 50, you know, 50% of these shots should kill. And I've got four. So, ha! Huh? No! I only get the one! Oh, come on, averages! God damn it! Okay. Alright, he takes one wound. Okay, he takes a wound, sir. Here we go. A single wound. Ridiculous! God damn it! <laughs> Everything was in my favor! God damn it! Okay. Yep, spewing. Okay, well look, that is the end of the shooting phase. Oh, it wasn't the best. Look, I'm stoked to have killed four Graveguard. That's True. sweet. Yep, that's good. Definitely not happy. Definitely not happy. <laughs> no, it was almost so sweet. Uh, God. I know. Oh, man. Okay. So close. All right, all right, all right, all right. That's fine. That's fine. So let's do some combat phases. You know what? Let's just start here. We'll start here. So dwarves have, in the most unlikely fashion, gotten charges off. So they will be striking first. So there are five dwarves in the front there, and one of them is a veteran. A dwarven Ooh. veteran. So that gives me six attacks. We are weapon skill four, and I'm assuming, are they, what weapon skill is a ghoul? Uh, I think they're weapon skill three. I'm Maybe. hoping it's three. It's weapon skill three. Weapon skill three, all right, yep. we're hitting on threes here. Hey Ooh, we only miss one. That's a solid Ooh, roll. Wow. Yeesh. Yeah. Um, are ghouls toughness four in this edition? I think they I are. I think they are, yeah. Ghouls uh, toughness four. Yep. All right, we are strength five because we are wielding great weapons, great axes, uh, which means we're killing on threes. Oh, 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 one, one, <laughs> Jesus! Oh, oh my yeah, God, that's okay, that's very bad. That is nasty. That's very bad, okay, so we've killed one. One good there. Um, so that's just one from the front rank, which means six of them are attacking back, sir. Correct. And they have two attacks apiece, am I correct? Um, ghouls have, yes, they do. Yep. All right, that's gonna two be 12 attacks, attacks coming back at my dwarves. Hitting on fours. Hitting on fours. Oh yeah, oh, not, not, not that the best. Bad. Oh, yeah, no, that was one for sure. So looks like five, just below yeah, average. Five, just cool. below average. All right, and you're wounding on fives though, because strength three versus oh, toughness on. five. Did I roll a six? Did I roll, was one of them a six? I think one of them was a six, which okay, is an automatic so an wound. wound. Yeah. All right, so yeah. you take one out of the pool, because yep. one's an auto wound. Yep, that's a wound. Um, and these are winning on fives. Oh, oh, Jesus, well and wounds. truly above average. Okay, Four Yeesh. wounds, how is that? Four wounds, Not and bad. I have five up. Heavy armor, dwarven ring mail. Ooh. Come on, come on, give me a bunch of them. This is what I need to roll hot. Roll hot! <gasps> I've rolled pretty hot. <laughs> I mean, I, I got half of them. I'll take half. Half is more than I should have got. Correct. So you do kill two, sir. All right, let's Ooh. do some combat res here. here so, um, I killed one. I had three ranks at the start of the combat. I have a banner. And how many of them were there? There was 20? Um, yes. Did you start with 20? Correct. Yep, cool. All right, so then you will be outnumbering me. So you killed two. Yep. You get no ranks because you're skirmishes, but you do outnumber me. Yep. Which means you are losing by two, sir. Mm. Um, you're not in range for your general's leadership. So no. what leadership does so a ghoul have? They, uh, ghouls only have a leadership of... Uh, six. Woof. Okay, so that leadership four, sir. Uh, Here we go. Good luck. Oh, they get oh, it with the it. <laughs> <laughs> The bravest ghouls in the world. Oh my they god. They are hungry. Yeesh. They get a taste of some dwarf meat. Oh, they want more. They like That's... it. They like what they've tasted. They're keen for another bite. Okay. Wow. What the hell? Break. Come on. Wow. Amazing. <laughs> All right, let's move on to this one. So, yeesh. Um, let's go with my runesmith first. So there's a runesmith in that unit. He has three attacks. He's got weapon skill five. He's hitting on threes. He gets them all. He's mad. He's strength six, so he's wounded on twos. He gets two of them. I'll Ooh. take it. So strength six is negative two armor save. So are these just oh, hand so weapons and shields? Have, yeah, hand weapon. Yeah, yep. They Correct. just get hand weapon shield, yep. so yes, no, no, um, you would usually have a five up armor save because of parry, but yes, the strength right. six goes through it, so, so two are killed straight up. Two are dead. So yeah, just pull that. two back, lovely. Um, yep. And then yep. the rest of the dwarves will be four dwarves and a veteran. Ooh. Again, hitting on threes. Wow, we miss more than half. Wow. Not good. Um, toughness three of a skeleton, so killing on twos. Okay, oh. thankfully, yeesh. Um, strength five is still negative two, so yes, Correct. no, yep. no, no, I'm safe. Bad. Yep. 
So we killed four, which yep. means you'll have one, one to attack, attack back. back. So yes, hitting on a four. Getting oh, it. Oh, we got it. Wounded on a five. Yeah, bring it over here for me. Oh. Getting it. <laughs> Jesus. Come on, man. <laughs> Five up armor save? One brave skill. No, god damn oh, it! it. Ah, god damn it. Uh, All right, you did kill one. That's Kills ridiculous. One. <laughs> ridiculous. Okay, so let's do some combat res again. All right. I again. killed four. You killed four. I have three ranks. Oop, that's too many. Three ranks, a banner, and I outnumber. You killed one. Ooh, ooh, ooh. All right, so you crumble four. Eight. Eight, they're all so gone. So the unit crumbles, there it goes. Unit are gone. Boom, all right, sweet. Sweet, we lost Very a dwarven nice. life to that though, god damn it. <laughs> <laughs> all right, general's unit, let's see if we can do it again. This should be able to do it. Let's clean them off, let's finish it. All right, dwarves, we've got my general, my, my dwarf lord, dwarf lord Thoric. Um, and he oh, nice. has four attacks. He's got weapon skill seven. So he is hitting maybe seven, maybe six. Either way, he's hitting on threes. Oh, he gets them all. You Ooh. sure right. He's got a great weapon, so he's squishing on twos. Ah, Ouch. <laughs> two ones. <laughs> Ridiculous. He kills two skeletons outright. Um, okay, and then the Thane battle standard bearer, his cousin, Thorin. Um, and we have Ooh. four attacks from him because he has a runic hand weapon with the rune of fury, giving him plus one attack. Hitting yeah. on threes. He gets them all. all hit. He's strength five, so he's wounded on twos. He gets oh. them all. Yeesh, he just kills four of them straight up in personal Damn. combat. Very nice. He's doing the job. Um, and then there will be three Iron Breakers left, and one of them is an Iron Beard, which is the version of Iron Breaker Champions. Ooh. And they're hitting on threes, because weapon skill five, missing one. Strength four to toughness three, wounded on threes, oh, only getting one. And you will have a six up armor save against that, sir. Six up armor save, Let's chuck it right here. Yep. No. That is a fail. So we kill another one. All right. All right, so you won't get any attack backs, my man, because we definitely killed the That's front correct. rank. Yep. How many did I kill? Uh, you killed one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeesh. All right. Plus your ranks, mate, they yeah, are no, gone. We don't need to count. They yes, they gone. crumble. <laughs> they crumble. Very good. Crumbled to dust. Okay, well, we crumbled the two units. Solid, expected. That. Ridiculous. <laughs> Like, I don't know, I didn't expect to necessarily just destroy them, but once I got them down pretty hard, I was like, yeah, they're out of here, they're running for sure. <laughs> Apparently not. The hungriest and bravest of ghouls. Very thirsty and hungry. Okay, interesting. Um, so my shooting phase was, you know, pretty, pretty, oh, um, not the best. Almost had a chance to just murk him and, you know... I did get to kill a few Graveguard, and that's pretty great. And in this edition, Graveguard cannot be raised from uh, from after being hit. So those Graveguard are dead forever. Correct. They're gone. That's a big deal. So that is it. That is the end of Dwarves, turn two. Vampire counts, turn three. Charges to declare, and we've talked about it. We've got a couple yes, of them. Yes, we have. We, we okay. do. So first of all, on the left here, on my left, the Ethereal Spirit Hosts are going to charge the unit with the General Lens. Exactly, my Iron Breakers are at. That will be a, a uh, I'm going to hold, but that is going to be a leadership test Correct. for them. Uh -huh. they, do they do pass. They won't be hitting on sixes in the first round of combat. Huzzah. Very nice. Uh, what else, sir? Our second charge will be the Dire Wolves. The Dire Wolves. Charging the... Into the Slayers. Slayers. Oh wait, they don't have to take a leadership test. They are unbreakable and correct. immune to psychology. That is correct. Lovely. Okay, and that's it for charges? That is it for charges. Okay, yep. sir. Well, in which case, this is where everything is before the movement phase, and this is where everything ends up. Okay, take us through it, Dwayne. Let's move from this side onwards. All right, so skeletons have continued to slowly march up. Thank you. They're able to get there. Very um, good. The uh, general has flown over this forest now and landed right next to this batch of dwarves. Oh, that's that going to be... Uh, got messed up by the ghouls. It's going to be a terror test for them. That will. Come on, leadership nine. Maybe leadership 10 from them. I think we checked that it was I mean, leadership 12. Am I in? Yes, I am. Yep. Leadership 10. Here we go. Here. We're okay. We're not, we're not scared. We've, we, they no longer have to take another terror test. Correct. They have, yep. They've overcome their terror. Correct. Very good. Okay. Um, so yes, landed there. Whoosh. What about the Graveguard? Okay, Graveguard have marched up and sort of wheeled to face this dwarf unit. Very good. The Always unengaged the one. Yes. Um, our spirit hosts have charged the general's unit. Beautiful. Terrifying. 
Very nice. Um, and our um, our vampire, realizing he's way too close, just sort of retreats back. <laughs> his clip clopped backwards. Yes, very good. <laughs> bravely, bravely run away. <laughs> Um, and we've got some more spooky ladies pushing on up. This one swung around this unit, and this one able to march because it had the uh, the general's uh, bubble at the start. Has just uh, straight through the lines Correct. directly towards my artillery hill. Woof! And of course, this the, uh, the 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 dogs, the wolves have boom straight into the front line of the slayers. Correct. And that is it. That's the movement phase done. Shall we? Shall we rock and roll straight into the magic phase? Let's sir? do it. Let's magic do phase. It. Let's make go. it happen. You get your pool of two. eight, yeah. and I've got my. I've got my six. Yep. Cool. All right, my friend. Swing some spells at me. What yes. are we doing? Let's do it. All right. This will be the general's time to shine. Indeed. Um, actually, we'll go. We'll go with him. Fantastic. 2d6 strength 4 hits, uh, but he's going to cast a spell first, which is Gaze of Nagash. All right, casting on this unit here. Let's do it. What does he need? He needs an 8 plus to cast this spell. An 8, and how many dice is he throwing? He's only using 2. Ooh, all right, it's a risk. Let's see it, mate. Oh, no, he's failed it. He Oof. failed it. All right, he's the first spell hasn't spell. come off. You know, the, okay. the natural resistance of the dwarves is just dampening the magic auras around them. Correct. Okay, sir, what's next? Okay, we're going to try Curse of Years once again. Oh, boy. <laughs> Curse of Years is going on this unit here. Okay, and who's casting it? Engaged. Um, is it the is it the general that has Curse of it Years? It is the general. Yeah. Very good. All right, sir. the general. All right, here we go, What general. do you need? You need nine? Uh, he needs a 10 plus. Ooh, a 10 plus. 10 plus to cast it. Yep, we're rolling three. All right, need a 10. Good Here luck on speed. Mate, eight, eight, nine, nine, nine. Oh, no, no, Jesus. Oh, well. Dude, that this sucks. is so unlucky. That okay, unlucky. bro, all right. All right. Well, what, what are you going to do? last spell yep. that we're going to do is it Van Hell's? I was thinking Van Hells, yeah. Yeah, look, so it's we're going to cast out on these guys. Pump those guys in. Charge them into death. Makes sense. All right, well. Let's do it. Good luck, sir. <laughs> I'll need it, I think. Indeed. Um, here we go. So, yeah, that is casting on a 9 plus. 9 plus for Three Van Hells. Here we go. You've gotten it. Done it. You've gotten it with a 10. Finally. I have my six dice left. <laughs> Yeesh. It's a spell. Um, oh, on a 10. Geez. On a 10. I think, I think four dice should be plenty. Because um, the more dice I put in, the more likely I get that double one. So I'm going to try it. Oh, And try it on the four. And try it on the four. Ha! I do get it. Oh, double six. It. <laughs> double six maximum Here resistance. Oh, oh, no. All right. Mate, no another unsuccessful, like not a single spell, dude. Yeah, not a single spell went off. Super unlucky, bro. Jesus Very Christ. Um, okay. Uh, I mean, magic in, against dwarves is always a bit difficult. It is true. But yeah. the fact that you threw your dice and I didn't even have to try and dispel, bro. Exactly. So unlucky. Yeah. Um, okay. Yeesh. Oh, um, right. We do have some shooting. We do have, we shooting. have some shooting. Um, so let's dial it up, mate. Who's shooting at what? Zombie dragon. Uh oh. <laughs> going to do a breath weapon attack. I forgot about the zombie um, dragon. <laughs> yes. Um, can it shoot into combat? So it very much looks like you can totally use this breath weapon into close combat um, because in the shooting into close combat section underneath, you know, at first it says you can't shoot into close combat, but then directly underneath that is the templates and shooting into close combat. And it mentions you might accidentally scatter your template into close combat. And within that same section, it directly mentions a belch of dragon fire. So I'm, I'm ruling it that yes, he can totally just angle this straight into the back of my unit. Um, and as long as he's not touching any of the front line that are engaged in combat, none of it has to randomize because he's just belching straight into the back of the unit. So this is the way we're doing it. If I'm getting this wrong, by all means, comment. Um, please, you know, put a page number or something so that I can look this up. But yes, this is how we're doing it for the game. And we've worked it out. And there are six that are fully covered, automatically hit. And there are seven that are partial. So, sir, let's roll those seven dice. All right, here we go. And they are coming into the pool of hits on fours. Looks like an extra three. Ooh, an extra three. Okay. Cool. Yeah, look, not too bad. So that is nine hits. Nine hits nine in hits. total with that that six that are already automatically hitting. Correct. And it's strength two, but negative three to the armor save. So strength two to a toughness four dwarf is going to be wounding on sixes. Wounding on six. It's killing on sixes, sir. Here we go. Oh, mate, just one the one. Kill. Just the one. <laughs> the the, one the noxious vapor comes through <laughs> and withers and melts a single dwarf. <laughs> <laughs> 
Do, does that like proc a leadership test awesome. or anything like that? Does it have anything special in that regard? Uh, it does not, no. Doesn't no. say anything like that. Okay, no. well, you wither a single dwarf down to dead. No! <laughs> Unlucky, mate. You probably should have at least gotten two to three there. Oh, I think so. Um, in right. terms of, you know, averages, but here we are. <laughs> Um, it's a nice game. Indeed. So that is the dragon breath weapon yep. done. We're going to scream with some banshees. We are. We're going to scream on the uh, catapult, the stone thrower. Onto the, uh, onto the stone thrower? Yes. All right. We're declaring thrower. onto the stone thrower. We Very are good. Indeed. In range, easily. Well, Very good, range. sir. Awesome. So the leadership nine, sir. So 2d6 plus right. two. 2d6 plus two. We have, oh, that is only six, seven, eight. eight. Nah, no, no damage to the stone thrower. And what right. about this lovely lady? So she's screaming at the, the Iron Breakers the again. Yep, again, 2d6 plus two. Oh, oh Jesus, leash. Oh, so maximum 12, well. oh my God, 12, 13, 13, 14. 14 is uh, five. 14. That's five, because they're, oh no, sorry, they're leadership 10. So Correct. 14 is four of them, sir. So wow, wow, wow. That was a mega scream. That right was there. a mega scream. Damn. Oof, ouch, my beautiful little iron breakers. Look, I put <laughs> shields on my classic mini. Look at him, he is. Oh God, that hurt. Yes, that did hurt quite a bit. Cool, Ouch. that is shooting phase. Ouch. Ouch, that hurt a lot. Okay, <laughs> sir, you know, unlucky, unlucky, brutal. Yes, oh my God. Very brutal indeed. Dude, oh my yeah. God, iron breakers are so expensive. Yeesh. <laughs> um, okay, that is the shooting phase done. Let's move into the combat phase, sir. Where do you want to start? Do you awesome. want to start out with the, the charges? We'll start with the charges. Fantastic. Yeah. We'll go with the, um, the spirit hosts, eh? All right, tell Here me how, how do the, the ghoulie boys, the, the spirits, fight? Okay, so the spirit hosts, um, they have four attacks. Excellent. Awesome. Um, do you want to just put them, do you want to, do you want to put any of them into the characters? Do you want to put them just into the rank and file? Uh, just, just rank and file. Them? Just rank and file. All right, so. Try and kill some of these. So um, each, each base has four attacks, so it's going to be eight attacks total. Correct. And what's the weapon skill of a, of a ghost? It is two. Okay. Only we're, two. We are weapon skill five, so we're more than double, which means you're hitting me on five, sir. Ooh, hitting on um, five. I'm going to pop okay. it down in the middle there. If you are able, Oh, solid. Okay, getting three. three hits. Getting three cool. hits. And what Not is the bad. strength? I'm imagining three. Three is the strength. All right, yep. so wounding on fives. Wounding on five, here we go. You oh, do get one wound. wound. We have Gromril armor, shield, oh. and parry, which gives us a two up armor oh, save wow. in close combat. Yeah, yes, at last Does I don't it. fail a two up. <laughs> Huzzah! Okay. Oh, well, look, I've only got one guy with a magic weapon in here, and that is my my BSB, my battle standard bearer, Thorin, Thane Thorin, holding the, uh, the, the personal standard of Dwarf Lord Thoric. Nice. And he has four attacks, and he's hitting on threes. Okay, he misses half of them. Not the best there, mate. Um, he's strength five. And what's the toughness of those? Uh... Uh, does, does he have a magic weapon? He does. He's he a runic okay. weapon, yep, sir. Cool. All right, awesome. Um, and what's the toughness of them? Uh, toughness is three. Toughness is three. So he's wounding on twos. <laughs> of oh, course, he fails one of them. Wow, so he gets, he puts a wound through. A wound I'm assuming okay. they have four wounds. Uh, they have four wounds, yep. All, All right. right. One is down to three wounds remaining. All right, All right. so I did a wound. I had, uh, at the start of the combat, I had one full rank because you've melted a bunch. Brutal. <laughs> um, I've got a battle standard bearer in there and the unit standard bearer has the rune of battle on his standard and I outnumber you. And I think that's it. So you cause no wounds. So I win by five, which Ooh. means you crumble by five. Ooh, so the that's one nasty. base dead and two wounds. Two wounds on the last on the base. last base. Oh, oh, oh. All right, you've locked him in very combat nice. though. Very nice, very nice, but solid. We've we've resisted the spirits with our our one runic weapon. Yes, yeah, very good. Love that. Nice. Okay, sir. Um, I guess let's move on to this. Yes. So you attack combat. first because we cool. have great weapons. Ah, so and okay. you've got your, your full front rank this time, which is seven dudes. So that'll be fourteen Correct. attacks. All right. So looking for forwards to hit. Forwards to hit. Not the best, but what do we got? That's one. That's an automatic wound. Lame. That's an automatic wound. Lame. <laughs> uh, that's a hit. Forced hit, wasn't it? Yes, sir. And one that's more there. And there. Oh, yes, and there. Beautiful. All right. All right. So cool. two automatic wounds and four regular hits so far. Those four regular hits are wounding on fives. All right. Here we go. 
Getting one, one more wound. to the pool, sir. So nice. that's three wounds in total. Correct. We have five up. Heavy armor. Dwarven ringmail saves. I guess save Ooh, one of them. Save, save one. one of them. You do, do kill two. Boom. Very nice. Solid, sir. Solid. All right. That leaves me with three guys left in the front rank. And one of them is a dwarven veteran. Ooh. They're hitting on threes. Ooh, we miss half of them. That's not the way that's supposed to work. <laughs> We're killing on two, not threes. No, we only kill one in response. Ooh. Oh my God. That's not the best. Oof, okay, so um, let's do you. You got two wounds. Yep. And you outnumber me. I got one wound. I have two ranks and a banner. Ooh. Okay, my friend, I am winning by one. You've got your, uh, your general's General leadership Christ. this time, though. And what is he? I'm assuming at least nine. Ten. Ten. <laughs> All right, leadership nine for those ghouls, sir. There Can they go. hold? They do. they do. They do. They hold they my bosses. Hungry. Right. They're loving They're it. Hungry. They're loving the dwarf meat. <laughs> <laughs> Excellent. And then the final combat. We've got wolves. We've got slayers. And they're sure coming do. in. Let's get tight on that. Hell yeah. Look Ooh. at this. The wolves have come charging in. Flesh flapping around their wolven ankles. <laughs> <laughs> and in they come. Um, so they've got. So they've got uh, one attack each, but the Doom but will two for the Doom. Yes. And is, is, it just, is it just an extra attack that the Doom will get? Just an extra attack. Okay, yeah. and do they get they get plus one strength on charge? Uh, I, well, I think they do. They have slavering charge. Yeah, totally. So that right. gives them. Their attacks are resolved at strength four during the turn they charge. Yeah, plus one strength on the charge. Cool. All right, sir, so that's going to be five, six attacks. Six attacks. Here six we attacks go. coming in on my dwarves, hitting on fours, getting Ooh. getting three of them. Excellent. Yep. That is the average. That is. Okay, and they're going to be wounding on fours because strength four to toughness four dwarves. One. One wound. One, but you do kill one because they have no armor. So boom. Very nice. A brave. You know, doom-seeking friggin' Slayer has found his doom. Yes, he Not knows. exactly how he wanted to find it, but he found it. <laughs> All right, so let's see what comes back. We have to do the unit champion, the giant Slayer, separate because he has lots of extra uh, stats. He's got plus one weapon skill, plus one strength, and plus one attack. Hell yeah. So he has two attacks base, plus one for an extra hand weapon. He'll be hitting on threes. Wow, we missed two. Uh oh. Um, he is strength four. Are they toughness three? I'm yeah, pretty sure uh, they I'm pretty are. Sure they are toughness so it's going to be yeah. wounded on threes. We do kill one. One is dead. One is dead. Okay. And then we've got another two, four, six attacks coming in because they are armed with dual hand weapons. Six attacks, hitting on threes. Ooh, yes, good. That's more like it. But only wounding on fours this time because we are just Ooh. a standard dwarf man. A dwarf man! Oh, I'm getting another three of them. We butcher three of the wolves. Uh, Ooh, so three ouch. wolves, an extra full. Okay, well, let's do some combat res. So I got four wolves. Four wolves dead. Um, I have three ranks. A standard bearer. And I outnumber you. You killed a single dwarf. Correct. You, sir, are crumbling and dying because you're losing by, what is that, seven, eight. Eight. Ooh, eight. So gone. the unit wipes, sir, uh, that is it. Wow. Boom. Okay. Oh, they came slavering in. They pulled down a single Dang dwarf slayer and then were butchered <laughs> enough that the, the corporeal forces that were he keeping them alive just, just crumbled them. And then the little flapping flesh of dogs <laughs> sitting, sitting there. It's all gross. <laughs> oh, okay. Man. Yeesh. All right. Well... That's it. That is the end of that Vampire combat, yeah. Counts. Yep. Turn awesome. three. Turn three dwarves. Charges to declare. I do have one, sir. My my v unit of warriors led by the runesmith Ooh. are going to declare a charge against those Graveguard. I don't know if it's the right choice. I could spend another turn trying to soften them up with shooting. But then I'm just giving you the charge on me. And I feel like I could do a lot of damage with great weapons on the charge. True. And, you know, dwarves just love to charge. They never get to do it. They're hungry for it. They're like, oh my God, this is so special. <laughs> so I'm doing it. I'm declaring a charge with them. They have a leadership of 10 of the general to see if they overcome their fear of the spooky boys. They'd get it on an eight. Ooh. So they will be going in, sir. That is the only charge to declare. So this is where everything is before the movement phase. And this is where everything ends up. Okay, uh, so we have the Slayers on the flank doing a big six inch wheel, just boom, getting ready to, to deal with this next threat slash maybe coming up to start helping 
this terrifying little kerfuffle in the morning, in the middle here. Um, and then we have the, uh, uh, the ooh, what are these guys? Thunderers. Thunderers have done a big wheel and an inch pushing forward, hopefully trying to get some range on that there zombie dragon. It's time to put him down, people, or at least start to soften him up. Um, and the, the veteran, the, uh, the, the dwarven warriors, led by the runesmith, have boom, pushed straight forward, charging the grave guard. That's gonna be an interesting fight. I'm not, I'm not super stoked about it, but we'll see how it goes. So that is it. That is the movement phase done. Let's roll straight into what I like to call the dwarf phase. The shooting, shooting phase. phase. Yeah, you know it, mate. <laughs> Here we go. This is it. Guess weapons as always. I've got two cannons out of commission this round. So all we have is the grudge thrower and the thunderers. And I've already had a bit of a think and I have decided my grudge thrower is going to go 20 inches straight towards that zombie Ooh. dragon. 20 inches, sir. Could you, could you help me go. out, Dwayne? So yeah, yeah it looks, looks like it's, it's, it's not on his base, right? Not it's just behind base, the base. Yeah. All right, Definitely. so if it lands right there, it's going to be a clip, Ooh. which is not the best. So I needed to scatter backwards an inch. <laughs> Two inches would be lovely, but just don't, don't come into this. <laughs> this would be this is, oh boy. Yeah, this, is, this is a dangerous shot. This is a dangerous shot, but the dwarves are feeling bold. We've got to do something with our shooting. Here we go. Oh wait, I'm just got one dice here. God damn it. Here we go. Here we go. We've got the scatter and artillery dice and it is going to go four inches backwards. Ooh. That will miss him for sure. Ouch. Come on. Come on, give me a better scatter here. Here we go, re-rolling for the rune of accuracy. Yeah! Oh, four inches forward. All Again. right, so it's coming towards him, sir, four inches. So it does pull back just enough to be partially covering the dragon. So it will hit him on a four plus. I've got a 50-50 chance of hitting the model and then it's gonna randomize between the dragon and the rider. Mm. All right, here we go, four plus. Four plus to hit him, yeah! No, no, it's a one. Okay, that's all right. That's all right. Ouch. Look, I was I was pretty happy with my with my ranges. They've been pretty good, but the dice have not they been have loving been pretty, me. Yeah, they've been pretty spot on. All yeah. right, let's. Uh, can we measure out twenty four inches from these thunderers, sir? Because they're yes, going to dial can. some shots up on that dragon. Ooh, ooh, ooh. No, Spewing. mate. All right, well, all the shots fall short. Boom, Ooh. the dragon is safe for the round. Everyone was so just out of range. On the ground in front of me. <laughs> exactly, just <laughs> filtering over, but getting pulled by the wind out of the way because it's just over their effective range. Okay, dwarf shooting phase was what not what it needed to be. Spewing. But such is life. That's the way it goes. All right, so. That's two bad vampire magic phases and two bad, two bad? dwarf shooting phases. Hey, man, it's tit for tat. This is a balanced game. I, I like that. I like that. I mean, obviously, I, I don't like my dwarf phases going poorly, but I love, I love a give and take game, mate. So this is sweet. This is awesome. All right, let's, um, let's do some fighting. I want to, I want to leave that. Not for now, at least. I'm going to start here. Gonna start here. What is the initiative of a spirit host, sir? Ooh, it's probably it is, not yeah. super high. Oh, sorry. In my in my movement phase, I'm gonna make way with my um one my my <laughs> runesmith over to here. So in the movement phase, the um the runesmith is making way over to to this corner here. Yep. You know, well look, I'll I'll, I'll sort that out afterwards. Sure. So that he could still attack the spirit host because you pulled him out of combat. Cool. Um, so here we go. He's got four attacks. He's hitting on threes. Yeah. He misses one, that's fair enough. He's wounded on twos. Oh my god, he does a single oh, no. wound. He does one wound. Yeesh, all right, wow. sir. Well, the spirit host gets to attack back. So it's on, uh, on one wound remaining. One wound left. Okay. Here we go. All right, sir, striking back just at the unit. Just at the unit. Woo. Getting one hit because they're hitting one on hit. fives because of weapon skill Ouch. two. All yeah. right, and uh, wounding on fives. No, oh, wounds. no wounds. All That's right, him. so that will be enough to crumble it. So with its only one wound Ooh, remaining, is my gone. rank bonuses and all the things, the spirit host crumbles. You know, it, it, it you know kind of evaporates into mist and just, just floats away in the air. Indeed, as the energies slowly pull it apart. Um, all right, sweet. Nice. That's that done. Um, yeah, come on. Let's go to the big kahuna. Let's do Ooh. it. Let's go. Oh, yeah, we're doing it. We're doing it. All right. So, Alrighty. um, I am not going to declare any challenges. Do you okay. want to declare any challenges? No. Very good. <laughs> Very no. good, sir. All right. So I'm going with my runesmith first. And no. my runesmith is going to put all of his attacks into your unit champion. 
he's going to swing into him. Um, and what is the what's the weapon skill of a of a grave gun? I of think it's four, right? Uh, grave gun. Maybe three. Uh, it's three. It is three. It's just three. All yep. right, we're hitting you on threes. Yeah. Oh, we missed two of the attacks. Come oh, on, boys. Know. That's Spewing. not what we needed. <laughs> um, you are toughness four, and I'm strength six, so I'm wounding him on a two. Yeah. We do get him. Um, so you've got heavy armor, shield, and parry. Correct. So that would give you a three-up armor save in combat. Yep. Um, negative three is a six-up armor save, sir. Six-up wow. armor save to live. Here we go. It's a big dice roll. Oh, oh he's, he's got done it, you <laughs> son of a gun! He's done it. He saved. God damn it. Lucky, <laughs> okay. Lucky for that extra bit of armor. Wow. Yeah, man. Yeah, parry. It's so good. Hand shield. opening shield. Yeah, just boom. He's raised it with, you know, un, unholy vigor. <laughs> yes, indeed. And he's done it. All right, look, I'm going to put... I'm gonna put my unit champion and this other dwarf straight into your necromancer, mate. Ooh. I'm gonna I'm gonna put those attacks into him to see if I can just murk him. So it is two attacks from the veteran and one attack from the normal dwarven warrior. What's the weapon skill of that necromancer? Three. Weapon skill three. All right, we're hitting him on threes. Oh, oh, Come on, oh, I need oh. a decent hit roll here. Give it to me. Oh. All right, I'll take oh, it. I'll hits. take it. We are strength five, and I'm assuming he's only toughness three. Um, his toughness is, yeah, I think it's only three. Yep, only three. Three. He's got two wounds and toughness three. I've got Ooh. strength five great weapons. These two go. could just kill him. I need two two-ups. Statistically, he should be dead. But what does the <laughs> dice say? What does the narrative of this battle say? No! God, <laughs> A single wound to the necromancer. Wow, so far we have swung with the most of our unit and done a single wound. Okay, Damn. not the best. This is not how this <laughs> needed to go. All right, yeah, and geez. all that is left is my, my two little dwarves here. One of them is gonna put his attacks into the unit champion and one just into the unit. So into the unit champion, needing a three. And then a three. Okay, you'll have a six up armor save against it. Oh no, wait, oh, I'm only strength five. So negative two is a five up armor save this turn, sir. Okay. Don't you do it. Don't you do you it. You son of a it! Oh wow. <laughs> You're just tanking it. Done tanking it again. incredibly. And the one oh, just wow. into the unit gets a hit, gets a wound. Ooh. You'll have a five up armor save again. You gonna do it to me again, mate? You gonna? Oh, no, so look, it's cocked, so right? Look, I don't do cocked on my channel. I do oh, okay. whatever the most facing is. If it's okay, like, if enough. it's like, you know, like yeah, crazily right. like that. No, yep. so that is cool. a four, That's my four, friend. Yeah. Cool, cool. So I do kill one. Hooray, Ooh. Jesus. One that down. was really bad. <laughs> really bad. All right, sir. You can swing back. Do you want to divide your attacks in any particular yeah, so way? we've got, um, what, we've got three grave guards now. Indeed and you do. And one necromancer, yeah? Correct. Cool, so grave guards, they have just one attack each. All right, yep, cool, we'll go three grave guards first. Now, you have killing blow on your weapon Correct. because they have white blades. Correct. The entire unit has these magical, gnarly white blades. That is correct. Now, yep. killing blow, does that proc, it procs on the wound roll, right? A roll of six to wound just um, kills out, right? No armor saves. It is. If a model with the killing blow special ability rolls a six when rolling to wound, he to automatically wound. slays his opponent. No armor save, correct? No armor save. Yep. Love it. All right, awesome. sir. Well, um, yeah. How do you want to do this? You've got you've got four attacks in total from the. Uh, yeah. So we'll go with the um, the whites first. The yep. graveyard first. And Let's they just go. going into the unit. Yep, straight into the unit. All right, sir. You hit on threes because of your banner, so you got two Correct. hits. Correct. Yep, two hits. Um, and your strength four to toughness Ooh. four, so wounding on fours, sir. But on sixes fours. are auto kills. No, no, no one auto wound. kills. One wound, and it is just a six up armor save because negative Correct. one to their five up heavy armor save. I need a six. Can I do it? Can I do it like you have been? Come on. <laughs> Can I? I do it! <laughs> He saved. Oh my god. Wow. <laughs> I'll take All it. Right. Hell yeah. All right. And so then your necromancer, sir. Necromancer, correct. One attack. He hits. That's a hit. Strength three will be fives to wound. He does Ooh, get a wound. It's a, wound. it's a five up armor save. Are you going to do it? You better not. Go. Come on. Come on. Do it. No, He's you do it. He kills the dwarf. Necromancer's killed the dwarf. Ridiculous. With his sword. Oh my God. Oh God. Okay, sir. All right, let's do it. So I caused two wounds total. Um, I had three ranks at the start of the combat. Yep and I was outnumbering you, and I have a banner. You caused a single wound in response. Yep. You have two ranks and a banner. 
All right, you're losing by three, sir. So Ooh. you are crumbling by three. Well, crumbling by three. One, two, three. Ooh, that's a big deal. I did break another rank there. That's Ooh. pretty good. All right. Wow, that didn't go exactly like I hoped, but I'll take it. <laughs> Yeesh. Oh my god, those were those were some spicy they armor were. saves, man. Oh, yeah. Yeesh. They were. <laughs> that was that was intense. Well done. Not well played. All right. <laughs> all that's left is the warriors versus the ghouls, and it's Ooh. ghouls striking first. All right, ghouls so it's gonna be up. another fourteen attacks, sir. That is crazy. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. All right, fourteen attacks. Weapon skill three to weapon skill four is hitting on fours. Oh, 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 so there's two auto wounds. Oh, there. very nice, very good. And then looks like another four wounds into the pile. Correct. Or four hits, I should yeah, say. Four hits. Very yeah. good. Let's roll those four hits again, needing fives to wound to add okay. them to these auto poisons. Oh, getting another two, getting half of them. Jesus, not bad. At <laughs> Settle all. down, mate. <laughs> They're doing very well. Okay, yeesh. Ghouls. Ghouls are apparently quite scary. Um, all right. Indeed. Five up. Dwarven ringmail saves. Come on, tell me that we forged these suits of armor. Well, tell me! Oh, we forged them, not the greatest. All right, we save one, and three dwarves are pulled down by filthy nice. cannibals. Oh, Ripped to pieces. Very nice, sir. Uh, consumed, devoured. Um, all right, so that only leaves me with two dwarves in the front rank, and one of them is a veteran. He's hitting on threes. Okay, we get two of them. We're wounding on threes because strength five. Oh, only one. one. We kill one of them in response. Another one down. Yeesh. Okay. Oh man. Yeah. You're whittling me. Um, you got three wounds and you outnumber me. I had, I got a standard, a, a wound, yep. a standard and had two ranks and I have a musician. So I win. We tied, but because I have a musician, I win by one. Ooh. All right, All right. So, so, so you are a still, break test. yeah, leadership 10 from them. So leadership Correct. nine. Are they going to run? They oh, do. Oh, my <laughs> God. They finally break. Oh, yes. Broken. Oh, my God. That was so ridiculous. <laughs> and that's when they break. Okay. Um, so they're going to so be running run. up. So hang on, hang on. I've got to decide whether I want to chase them or not. Otherwise, I'm just standing there and getting hit in the flank, most likely. So look, yeah, I'll chase. I'll chase. I'll always Chasing. chase. Chasing, no, mate. Cool. So 2d6 running away. Oh, oh you get a good. six, but minus I always six. chase and flee. 2d6 minus one because we have short little legs. Right. So I need to see a seven. A seven will catch a them and cut them down. Them. A seven. A seven? A seven! Oh, <laughs> He's done it. All the ghouls are gone. Oh, Just like that. Ridiculous. Oh, my poor little poopsies. Mate, I'm sorry. Oh, the poor poopsies. <laughs> God damn it. All right. Well, look, they're going to be ending up in the forest a certain amount. They're running, you know, True. six inches into oh. the forest. Um, I'll be back oh, once we figure out where they end up. And that is where they have ended up. They spent an inch to hit the forest and then it used their five inches, which turned to two and a half to just boom, nose into the forest. Um, and we checked just for posterity and that has just put them out of the charge arc of the dragon. <laughs> Dude, what the hell? Oh my God. Okay. Woof. Gnarly. So that is it. That is the end of the turn. Bloody hell. It was a big Ooh, one. That was huge. My yeah. God. So massive. woof. The end of dwarves. Turn three. Vampire counts. Turn four. So we have decided that there are no charges to declare this round. Um, Correct. So this is where everything is before the movement phase. And this is where everything ends up. Okay, so before we started the movement phase, we did rethink and we decided a charge with this here. Terror causing Friggin' dragon. Oh, I owe you some checks then. You do, I yes. totally owe you some yes, checks. Yeah. All right, so yep. it's going to be a leadership test or yep. slash a terror test for Correct. the crew. Huh? Oh no, oh. they're running! They're <laughs> running! Oh, Jesus! So All this right. massive dragon coming yeah, towards them like, and they're like, nope, nope. nope. Yeah. And they're going to run seven inches. Is seven inches enough to get them off the board? It totally is. Boom! Wow, so all of a sudden, dwarves can move fast. Yeah, apparently when they when they're scared of things, boom! <laughs> so yes, the terror test has has glap. They've just run away. So so that would have happened before you moved, but after you declared a charge. Right. Um, so you'd still be you'd still be back there. Yep. And you've declared the charge. I have fled away from it. 
I'd move up anyway, wouldn't I? So it, it's either a failed charge, which means you'd move forward ah, half your unit. Okay. There's also yeah. a possibility that you might be able to redirect the charge, which oh, would be a big deal. Look, we're gonna we're gonna 100 figure out exactly how sure. this works, and we'll be back with the result. Oh no! <laughs> All right, we've read it. We've had a good look. So yes, um, when he declared the charge from back there, but before we moved him, I would have done my leadership test and I failed it and fled. And because that is the case, he is allowed to redirect his charge. So just by looking at this unit, he's gotten rid of the stone thrower and he has declared to redirect his charge against the organ gun. Um, so the organ gun now needs to do the exact same thing. They have to take a terror test. And if they fail, they're also gonna flee. Um, Oof, at this point, I kind of want to fail because there's a chance that I'll flee away from my gun and then can maybe come back to it. Because, <laughs> yep, yeah, so let's see another high roll and then a low roll. <laughs> All right, are you going to keep your nerve or are you running, boys? It's a terrifying dragon. Ha! They keep their nerve Ooh. and they're going to fight. So they step forward yeah, to, to, to face down the terrifying dragon and the dragon just boom straight into there. Feel All free right. to move him in. Here sir. we go. Oops. Oh man, Look well that. done. That's Woo. a you know, that's terror for you people. That is Dragons terrifying. are super scary and yeah, just boom, got rid of my, my beautiful stone thrower just straight away <laughs> and is now about to completely demolish my my organ gun. My organ gun. I wish I'd kept them a little further back now because <laughs> Well, I hope that organ gun's got insurance, man. It it's does brand not. New. Yeah, mate, it doesn't. <laughs> um, all right. So that is the charge phase done. And this is where everything is after the movement phase. The skeletons have just born, boom, pushed forward, forcing the issue with the slayers. Correct. Um, uh, we've got the banshees, which have, you know, more or less this one stayed still. And this one zoop, pushed up to come beside it. And that's it. That's movement phase done, sir. Let's go on to the vampire counts phase. All right. The magic phase. Very let's see nice. if you can have a better one, sir. Let's, yeah, let's, let's, let's see. Let's see if you can have a better one. So be third time, third time lucky. Let's go. Indeed, my friend. All right. Who's casting what? So can you cast spells when you're in close combat? Um, the spell decides whether you can. Oh, so, okay. okay, sure. So I'm pretty sure a lot of the time you can. It depends what you're Unless casting. Unless it states otherwise. Yeah, yeah. so magic missiles cool. can't be cast in close combat. Yep. Um, mm -hmm. Otherwise, I'm pretty sure casting happens as normal, sir. Okay. We're going to raise the dead again. Gonna raise the dead. We're gonna bring back some more skellies. All right, who's casting this? Cool. Um, we're gonna have this necromancer here. Yep, cool. He's gonna cast. All right, sir. So he can use three dice total. Correct. And what level is he trying to cast he it at? He is going to cast at 11 plus this time. Ooh, We're going to try and bring back a ton of skills. Mate, all right, let's see it. Go. Looking for an 11. 11. No. No. Oh, it's a miscast. A miscast. <laughs> All right, so 2d6. What D6. happens to the necromancer? On the miscast table, ooh, seven? That's a seven. Seven is probably fine. The caster cannot cast any more spells this magic phase. Okay. Hey, I'm cool with that. Not the worst. Not that, the worst. That is totally cool. Super unlucky though. Yeesh. Right. Right. All right, come on, come on. We can do better than um, that. Cool. What's so next? That, was, that was three dice used. Yep. Um, we're going to use two dice to try and raise some skellies. All right, that's going to be cast by him. Ah, oh, yes, the, uh, yep. the the sneaky. Oh, yes, I forgot to say that sneaky wizard is yes. clopped behind the he sure has. behind the forest. We're going to do this on a seven plus. A seven plus, yes, seven makes, plus. Makes we, more sense. We're going to, um, yeah, just new unit of skelly somewhere around there. All right, let's see how you go, mate. That cast on eleven. Okay, 11. yeesh. Well, I should have done eleven plus. Yeah, yeah. mate. Maybe should have. <laughs> um, well, are you going to dispel the will, master dwarf? I will. Hurrah! And I do. No, oh, no skeletons for you, sir. No skellies. All right. For our last magic trick. Yes. Um, we are going. <laughs> mm. We're going to cast Van Hell's Dance from a Cub. Very these good. Guys Very to good. To charge the dwarves. All right. See if you can get him in there, mate. Let's do that. That is a nine plus. Nine Let's plus. Go. Three dice. Oh, Should be a something cinch. under there. Um, it's a four. It's a four. Cool. So ugh. that does it. That does it, sir. What'd you get? Five. You got 12. 12. 12 total. Can I beat a 12? Hurrah! I cannot. Ooh, ooh, ooh. All right. Done so it. they've done it, mate. They get the charge. They've got eight inches they and are boom. Moving. They're straight, straight in. Oh, that's Very nasty. Nice. Very good, sir. Well, man, there we go. We got a magic spell we off. We did. Hell we yeah, did. bro. Hell we yeah. We got one off. That's, that's great. I'm happy with that. Excellent. All right. It's shooting phase time, my friend. All right. So shooting. he's engaged, so no breath weapon from breath him. Weapon. That's but right. we've got some more, some more scary screamers. First man, she's going to scream down that cannon. This one here. Yep, fantastic. Screaming down the cannon. 2d6 plus two. Let's see what you get, sir. 
Oh, Whoa. Jesus, would you stop rolling so huge. hard on these? That's a, that's so, a terrifying scream. Right it there. is 11 minus 9 is what? Well, it's, a, it's 11 plus 2, so that's... Oh, yes. Yeah. What is that? 12, 13. 13, 13 minus yeah. 9 is 4. 4 wounds. That's 4 friend. wounds, sir. So they, they, it goes as shooting, correct? That's what it said? Correct. All yeah. right, so then you'll need um, 4 dice, and you're randomizing across the machine or the okay. dwarves. There we go. So grab yourself 4 dice. Yep. 1 to 4 is the machine, 5 and 6 is the dwarves, and that's really Alrighty. what you want here. Well, you got two of them. Oh, two of them, mate. Two and are down. what does it do? It just automatic wounds. Just automatic. Oh, my God. Yeah. Oh, my God. Uh, two of them are down, and it's. One on the cannon. And is one right? on, yeah. uh, two two on the cannon. cannon. Yeah. Two on the cannon. You're just screaming at the cannon, <laughs> and it's like, is that the way it works when you do that to a cannon? Discard wounds hitting machines. There you go. So no wounds ah, on okay. your cannon. So no, the, the cannon doesn't sense. take wounds. That no. makes sense. But yes, two of the dwarves' heads just, you know, yeah, their brains melt and bleed out their ears. Gross, hectic. Correct. All right, so you've got one more of them. You gonna um, do it again? Yep, I'm going to scream again. Is that within eight though? Well, let's have a look, see. So you're declaring it at the cannon? Yep, I'm declaring it on the cannon. Definitely an eight, yes, sir. Oh, just makes it cool, All cool. right, come on, settle down with me, mate. <laughs> Don't go crazy this time. Just chill it out, what'd Ooh, you get? Ooh, that's only a seven. That's gonna be a seven plus Five. two. Plus two, five plus two is seven. Uh, so, oh yes, seven total. So no, no more no, damage. The, do, the double yep. scream is done. Cool. Ooh, that means I can still shoot it. But now, Correct. if I shoot it, it's going to take another turn to reload it because there's only one crew left. Mate, you're destroying mm. my war machines. They're all yeah. going down. <laughs> okay, so let's. Uh, it's combat time, sir. It is combat. Where do you want to start? You want to start with the grave guard, the dragon, or the skeleton? Let's go with the dragon. Oh That's my god! Fun, eh? Make it happen, nice sir. Dragon. I have no idea what the stats of a zombie dragon are. So they enlighten me. He is a lot of fun, held zombie dragon. So he has a cloud of flies around him because he's a disgusting dead old dragon. Of course he does. Um, so surrounded by a black cloud of flies, when the dragon is fighting, these evil buzzing creatures fly into the mouths and eyes of its opponents. Gross. Clogging their ears and crawling up their nostrils. Jesus. This terrible distraction means that enemy, any enemy in base contact with a zombie dragon must deduct one from their two hit rolls. Okay, and one to hit you, to be honest. I don't they think I'm going to be hitting your back, bro. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so yeah, tell me your attacks, your weapon skill. Just, just Sweet. swing at so me, So he's only got a weapon skill of three. Which oh. kind of sucks. He has okay. four attacks though. Okay. okay. That's cool. Yeah, and a strength of six. Sweet. All right. So, so it's going to be four, four attacks, attacks hitting on fours. Correct. All right. Make it happen, sir. You get Ooh, three. That's going to be enough hits. to kill them all. That's great. Um, strength six, toughness four is twos. Come on, show me your one. Come show on. me at least one. No ones, please. Yeah, yeah. yes. You got one, one of the times. It doesn't matter, but Good yes. One. One of them does survive. It's the muscle boy. <laughs> Look at him. He's the chunkiest of dudes. And he is going to swing back at negative one to hit. So does the rider get an attack as well? Oh, yes, of course. What yes. am I saying? Yep. Sorry, yeah. mate. Cool. Yes. So I, I completely, you know, just disregarded the Nekorak <laughs> vampire, which is... But the Nekorak suck in close combat. So he has negative two to his weapon skill, Oof. which means his weapon skill is six. Only six. Oh, only six. <laughs> <laughs> How many attacks does he have? Uh, Vampire Lord. Um, <laughs> Probably a bunch. Most likely four. Mm, I totally forgot to add plus one to the total roll to cast a spell as well. Oh, That's lame. Get. That's all right. right. Well, we'll be remembering right. that from, from now, now on. on. Yep. Um, okay, so what did you ask me, sorry? Uh, his, his attacks. He gets five attacks. Five attacks? Damn. That yep. is insane. At weapon skill six. It yeah. seems like he's not that bad at fighting. So. <laughs> Apparently uh, not. Five attacks at weapon skill six, needing threes to hit. All okay, right, this is half of them. Hits. Okay, yeah. yeesh, okay. okay, more than half, yeesh. Yeah, correct. Um, and his strength five for a vampire lord, I'm assuming? Six, uh, six. Strength is five, yes, correct. Okay, five. wounding on threes. You oh, do, you I'm finish wound. him off, He's boom, and it is destroyed. Very nice. That would usually be a leadership test for them, but they, they are fear psychology. nothing exactly. The Slayers, <laughs> they care not. Um, excellent, well done. Where do you want to go next, man? Do you want to go to, uh, to the... Yeah, let's go to the skill you think. Yep, Fantastic. There. All cool. right, mate, so it's just going to be five attacks. Is it with... Uh, there were spears, though. Not on get... the charge. Oh, no, on the charge, charge, you do not get the spears, okay. my friend. They're defensible, not right. attacky. So five attacks, five attacks. and your yep. weapon skill... Yeah, I think it's just three or two. Uh, skill two, is, I think. It is two, yeah. All right, just cool. Two. And they're all just going at the rank and file, boys? Yep. All right, needing fours. Mm, that is two hit oh, three hits. All right, three hits with the skeletons. They're wounding Let's on fives. Oh, you do Ooh, get one, sir. You pull down another slayer. Very nice. good. Um, all right, well, they're going to strike back. 
And it's going to be the uh, the, the the giant slayer first. Ooh. And the giant slayer is going to hit on threes. Damn it, giant slayer. He's wounding on threes. <laughs> He does kill. Oh no, wait, you've got light, got armor, light armor and, and shield. shield. So it's Correct. just negative one, so a six up armor save, sir. Six up, six armor save. We no, don't, we do kill it. a single skeleton. He's gone. Um, you've killed one, so that leaves me with one, two, <clears throat> three other dudes, which is another six attacks. Hitting on threes, because your weapon skill two skeletons. Whoops. Hey! Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, we missed two. And we're winning on fours, because these are just regular strength dwarves. We do get three of them, and you'll have three five-up armor saves, sir, for your light armor Ooh, and shield. Okay, here we go. Yeah. I know, oh, no saves. We kill three. Oof, oh, oh, oh. that's a big three deal. One, two, three. All right, so combat res time. Right. You got a wound. You had three ranks. Yep. And a banner. I got three wounds, had three ranks, and a banner. And I do outnumber you, so you will be crumbling Ooh, by another three, sir. Another three. Three skellies gone. One, two, three. Very good. I'm sorry right. about him because I don't like the look of that skelly. Excellent. Love that. <laughs> <laughs> Hell yeah. Make my best looking ones Mate, to last. that's how I do it too. <laughs> um, all right. That grindy combat is going to continue to grind. Now it's time for this one. Um, I have great weapons, so you strike first, sir. Alrighty, here we go. So, allocate your attacks as you see fit. Okay, so we'll go uh, for the Grave Guard on the unit. And okay. the Necromancer will just go on the unit too, or whose attacks after. Here um, we go. Alright. All on the unit, Grave Guard. Alright, uh, so you hit on threes always because of your banner. Uh, correct. So you yes, get two correct. hits, sir. Two hits, yep. Um, um, and strength four to toughness four is going to be fours to correct. wound. What was the... Oh yeah, so if I wound you, on sixes. automatically die, yeah? Correct. On Killing blow yep. on sixes. Cool. Here we go. Uh, what is that? That's a no. It's a four. It is a wound. Mm, one wound. Six up armor save for my heavy armor. No! no Oof, a dwarf save. falls. Um, and then your... The necromancer. The necromancer. Oh, I think it was just one attack with him, yeah. Indeed. Yep, it was. Here he goes. Miss no. Him. Okay. Definitely not. So, did yep. I kill your unit champion last turn? I don't think I did. No. So, and how no. many dice did you roll then? I think you only rolled four attacks. Four, you should, yeah, four You should have an extra one. One, four. two, three, four, five. Ah, no, one so um, champion. no, so I didn't, I didn't put a crypt keeper in the unit. Oh, there is no yeah. champion. Yeah. Right, right. No champion. My bad, yeah. my bad. Yeah. Um, okay, cool. Well, I will do pretty much what I did last time. Um, well, I guess the rune smith is just going to go into the unit. Um, he's got three attacks, hitting on threes. He gets them all this time. He's strength six. He's wounded on twos. He gets oh. them all this time. So right. you have three six up armor saves against that one, my man. Okay. Oh, oh you do save one. one. Very one good. Saves. Very, Very nice. good. So two, two do die. Um, and then I'm going to put three attacks. Yeah, no, I do it. I want to get that. I want that necromancer dead. I'm putting the, the unit champion and the other dwarf into the necromancer. Finish him. Hitting on threes. Oh, boy. I'm glad Ooh. I put all three in. <laughs> Wounding on twos. Come on. Yes, I do. Oh, I finish him off, mate. He's dead. The necromancer falls. He's gone. And so that will just leave two extra dwarves going into the unit. Hitting on threes. Oh, we miss one. Wounding on threes. We do get it. That'll be a five up armor save for that Ooh, one, sir. That's one save. Yeah. No. No, another grave one. guard falls. Oh, oh. All right, combat res again. Here we go. So I killed your necromancer and th three grave guard. Is that right? Yes, correct. Fantastic. Yep. And I have two ranks and a banner, and I outnumber you. You have a single rank, a banner. And you did a single wound. Correct. So five, sir. Ooh, five, five of them wounds. crumble and One. die. Oof. Whoa, that, ooh, That's big. Not many That's left. big. We're pulling them down slowly so, uh, but surely. Ooh, ooh. Okay. All right. The dwarves are winning the combats. Not all of them. <laughs> <laughs> but that one, if I'd won, that would have been the most ridiculous. Correct. All right. So that is it. That is the end of Vampire Counts. Ooh. Turn four. Dwarves turn four, no charges to declare. So this is where everything is before the movement phase and this is where everything ends up. All right, my general unit and the unit of unengaged warriors have just done a full reform to start looking back at these, uh, the, the, the only fight that's kind of left, which is probably over here. I think I've probably got that one in the bag at the end of this turn. So that's it, everything else has stood still. 
This is my last chance. Last chance, Cannon, to maybe put a shot into a dragon. Are you going to be a dragon slayer before <laughs> you die? Uh, maybe pop a little Necrarch Vampire Lord off a dragon? Maybe. Let's find out. I am going to declare this, this cannon to go, ooh. I'm going to go two inches forward. Two inches forward from where I am is just going to land right, right there on this little thing. Boom. Two inches, and then let's see what it does. It's gonna go an extra. Huh. Misfire, come oh, on, oh, come on. Oh, no. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. You're right. gonna reroll that, right? He's gonna reroll. <laughs> he's gonna reroll for the rune of forging, please. Oh, please, geez. come on, mate. Come on, here we go. An extra two inches oh. forward. Not the best. <laughs> not the best. An extra it two inches forward. Up. Oh, mate, it's not love and life. It's going oh, right there, boom. <laughs> Okay, what do I need? How far away from you am I? I a six will do it. A six will do six it. Six will hit him. A four will fall short. So it's 50-50 now. It's 50-50 because there's a misfire, a two, a four. And then everything after that is big enough. A six, an eight, and a ten. So it's 50-50. I've got a 50% chance to just hit him. Come on. Do it. No! <laughs> Yeah, wow, that cannon needs some work, I think. Wow. Wow, yeah, that cannon needs some so, work. So yeah, there's no misfire chart for it because on this one is the bounce. So it's just shot forward to there and stuck in the earth. Man, come on. All right, it's not an artillery game for the dwarves. That's oh, all right. I swear, like someone has infiltrated the dwarf. Yeah, it's you know, this guy. And, it's him. You know. <laughs> Someone's tampered Screw with it. Exactly, exactly. You've got some like gross thralls that have like, you know, those filthy little like dreg boys <laughs> that have managed to like come the night before and mess with my cannon because that is ridiculous. Oh, all yeah. right, all right. Yeah, I need to yeah. dial up some shots from these thunderers. They're all going to shoot at the dragon. Um, could you measure me out 24, sir? Sure and let's can. let's see how I did. It looks like half of them. Half of them. Looks shoot, like half yeah. of them at best. Six of them, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Six cool. of them. Yep. So six shots. Here we go. Coming in. Um, you're over half range, which is negative one, but you're a large target, which is plus exactly. one. Correct. So it's going to just be fours. Fours to hit. Oh yeah. I get. Oh, I get above average. Four hits. Pretty good. Now these will randomize. One to four is the dragon, five and six is the rider. Give me all of them. Give me all of them on the rider. Ooh. No, Ooh. I get one on the rider and three okay. on the dragon. Nice. Um, what's the toughness of a dragon? Ooh, the toughness of a zombie dragon it's hefty. is six. Six, where they're Correct. wounded on sixes. I get one. one. Does he have an armor save? Uh, he does have an armor save. What uh, is it? Five plus for his scaly skin. Uh, well, so it is uh, strength four armor piercing, so no okay. armor save. So no armor save. No, it's okay. negative so two. It takes, yep, one wound. Takes yeah. a wound for the dragon, cool. and then what is the toughness of the the, the Necrarch um, Lord? Necrarch. Five. Toughness five. five. So it's yep. a five to wound him. I do it. Oh. Yes. Does he have an armor save? Um, I, I don't think, think he gets so. an armor save. No, no, no armor save. All no. right. So, um, how many wounds does a zombie dragon have? Um, yeah. So you, you did two wounds on the vampire, did you? Or just one? one. Just one. Just one. Okay. Um, so the zombie dragon has six wounds. Six wounds for the zombie the dragon. And the vampire lord has four. Okay. So the the zombie dragon is down to five. Oh, 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 oh. oh that's and the uh, Necrarch, the Necrarch down to three. is down to three. Correct. All right, sweet, Ooh, couple of shots. Very nice. Heck yep. yeah, boys. Not bad at all. What the hell, you? <laughs> uh, so look, it will take another turn to reload this now because Ouch. because he's there, but I don't think he'll be around to do that. <laughs> so it's combat. It's combat. combat. Right. Um, uh, initiative of a skeleton, I think, is two, right? Correct. Did they use their general's initiative, though? Or? No, 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 no. Okay. No, sir. No. You can um, use your leadership, but not his initiative. Ah, uh, yeah. Okay, two. Two. So, two. yes, my, my dwarves are going first over here. We're starting with the slayers. The slayers versus the skeletons. Here we go. We're going to go with the giant slayer first. Now, mate, this time, don't miss most of your attacks. Because you're hitting on threes. Hey, Ooh, he just needed a pep talk. Nice. Just needed a little pep. And he's wounded on threes because he's strength four to the toughness three. He gets three wounds, sir. Um, you will have three six up armor saves against that because negative right. one to your light armor and shield. Correct. Here we go. You oh, do save one. one. Saves. Very okay. good. One the two skeletons dead. go down. And then we've got <clears throat> two, four, six, eight attacks from the rest of them. Eight attacks, hitting on threes, yeah. Oh wow, we miss. 
half of them. That's not the way hitting on threes is supposed to work. <laughs> That's all right. Wounded on fours. And we get a single wound. Um, so you'll have your full five up against that, sir. Okay. Five up armor save. Make it happen. He no, so another one another falls. One. Three dead. All right, so three dead. So there'd be three from the front rank dead, yep. which leaves you with, with two, five, six, seven, because your spears yeah, kick spears, in this yep, round. Cool. So seven right, attacks. Four. Let's do seven this. attacks hitting on fours. Let's go. Ooh, Ooh, good hits. Not too bad. Yeah, yeah. Too four bad. four yeah. out of the seven is pretty good, my man. Yep. Um, cool. Wounding on fives, though. This is the hard part. Okay, here we go. I want you do you pull down another another brave slayer. Nice. All right, so I killed what three? Three. Yep. I killed three. I have two ranks yep. and a banner and Ooh. our number. You Ouch. killed one. One. And you had one a rank banner. at the start and a banner. So another four, four of them crumble, sir. Oh. We're bringing them down. Wasting away. We're bringing them down. Disappearing. All right, that is that done. Let's come over to this. You strike first because we have great weapons. Okay. Do you want to allocate the attacks in any particular way? Yeah, so so who's in the... So they've got the unit champion here yep. and the runesmith there. Runesmith is going down. Very good. Four, four uh, so attacks you can on put, the runesmith. You can put oh, three. three, yes, three you can put sorry, three yeah. of them. Three attacks on the runesmith. Yeah, there very good. Go. Hitting on threes because you always do. Yes. Very good. Three, three hits. hits. And strength four to toughness four is fives to wound. Oh, Killing blow. Oh, you just do I <laughs> should have done that ages ago. Oh. Yeah, I should have done that a long time Hell ago. Hell yeah, you're killing blow the Killed runesmith. Killed the runesmith. Can I have well one more done. attack into the unit? Indeed, sir. That's Missing. Miss. Okay, well done. Nice. Um, okay, here we go. We've got the veteran and three extra attacks. Hitting on fours. Oh, threes, what am I saying? Hitting on threes. Wow, okay. We hit them all. We, we're very <laughs> mad that you killed the runesmith. Yeah. Um, wounding on threes because great weapons... Three of them, sir. We kill three. Oh, no, sorry, sorry, sorry. Five ups, sir. Three five up armor saves. Three five up armor saves. Here we go. You save one. One save. Two of so them fall. Two dead. Ho, ho, ho. Very good. All right, sir. So this time you kill, put two wounds through with the killing blow onto my onto my leader, onto my uh, maroon smith, yes. the smith of runes. Yep. Um, and what? I killed two? Two. Yep. I killed two. I have two ranks. Three ranks at the start of the combat, and a banner, they and our number. Yes, they, they do. They crumble, but you, you got my they did got get my the roof smith, smith, mate. Though, so that That's is, pretty good. spicy. It is good. Very nice indeed. Um, and that that's it. That's the end of Dwarf's turn four. Ooh. Coming back with Vampire Counts turn five. Vampire Counts turn five. No charges being declared, so this is where everything is prior to the movement phase, and this is where everything ends up. Take us through it, Dwayne. What Alrighty. did what? So, after seeing his ghouls just get decimated by the dwarves coming out of the forest, Zombie Dragon has turned around and flown over to these dwarves and Heck. landed in front of them. Heck yeah. Trying to, um, you know... Intimidate them. Terrifying. Them off. That is going to need a terror check from those guys because you have landed within eight of them. It is within eight, right? Oh, I guess it's within six. Oh, it's within six? It looks like you are still within six. I'm cool. pretty sure. Awesome. Go on, let's, let's look at this. Yes. Yes, yes, you are. You have landed within six, cool. so they will require a terror check. Boys? They're all right. They're That's their terror They're check for the good. game done. Cool. Um, fantastic. The terrifying dragon has landed. Correct. And um, Banshees have kind of just moved over towards the general now. Uh -oh. Going to pick on the general. Lame. Now that the cannon has you know, proved to be just the shittest cannon ever made by the dwarf race. Just completely useless, apparently. <laughs> God damn it. Um, and this guy has come out of hiding. He's oh. come into the fray for the last couple of times. Finally showing his dirty little face. Yes, indeed. There he is, the filth master himself. <laughs> <laughs> Very nice, sir. Uh, all right, that's movement phase done. Let's get into the magic phase, sir. Magic phase. You will be getting two less dice than usual because I butchered your necromancer. Yes, you did, indeed. Ooh, yes. yes, you did. Yes. Um, so you're going from eight to six. So eight to six. It's okay. six to six, my friend, because four okay. plus two plus... Plus one. Plus one. Yep. So four plus two plus one. Ah. So four, five, six, seven. Seven. Yes. How does that work? Oh, no, but then you take one, right? Oh, yes. Yeah, yes, you yes, take yes, one. Yes, of course. So, so yes, six. down to six. Yep. Yeah, we managed that. Lovely. Right. Maths. Wait, we do a runesmith. 
That, oh, that, he was the one that did it! Yes. Oh my god, is. so no, you get that dice back, sir, oh, and I very lose nice. a bunch of dice, so I'm only getting four this time. Well done. Good, very well good, sir. Yes. Very good. So I've only okay. got my four, because my runesmith is dead. Awesome. Okay. Excellent. All right, sir, what are you, what are you casting? All right, so we're going to cast... Um, we're gonna ask invocation of Nehek uh, with this guy here. Cool. Gonna raise some, uh, raise some dead. Raise some dead, indeed. Let's do that. We're gonna cast on a seven plus. On the seven plus. We're gonna see if we can pull up some skellies, and we do we not. We fail, oh, bro. Oh, this so is close. over and over again. Oh, no. My God. Can't get these skellies up, what mate. It's the on? worst dwarf cannons in the world, it and really the worst Nekrak <laughs> wizards in the world. What the hell, people? Okay, what's next? Uh, next up will be Curse of Years. Curse of Years from yep. the big boy. And that's going on the general unit over here. Very good. Uh oh. And, and what do you need to cast it? 10 plus. 10 plus. Oof, you Ooh, get it. I do get it. That's 11, 12, 13, 14. 14. And what do you got? One dice left. One dice. I'm going to use my um, Necrarch point and add a point to that. Oh! So that's now 15. 15. Correct. 11, 12, yep. 13, 14, 15. Correct. Well, all 15 I can do is try and get rid of it. Here we go. Here we go, I need to show a 15 on three dice. Oh wow, it's, a, it's an epic fail. Oh, yeah, double epic one. Fail. All right, Ouch. so Curse of Years has happened. Fantastic. Oh, there we go, there that we go. That has happened on that unit. So what does that do, sir? Finally, Curse It Spill. It's my favorite. Yeah, hell yeah. Um, so it's like every model in the unit rolls a dice, and on a six, they, they just die? Um, yeah, every model in the unit rolls a dice, and if it's a six, they die. Fantastic. Awesome. Um, and is that like, it doesn't just take a wound or are they just outright dead? They, they take a wound, yeah. They take Sorry. a wound, take okay. A wound, yeah. No, that's fine, that's fine. Cool. Um, all right, so let's uh, let's do my, um, my general. Okay. He's all right. He's all right. Let's do my battle standard bearer. No, oh, he takes a wound. He oh. takes a wound. Oh, no armor saves allowed, I am assuming. Ooh. Nope, he is down to one wound remaining. He's aging fast. He is. He's already so old. Look at him. <laughs> he's dying real quick. Uh-oh. That's why he took a wound. Yep, the, uh, the oh, unit... Oh, the hip's gone. Oh. <laughs> Indeed. He's breaking down. Uh, the unit champion dies oh. oh my god this is the worst holy god all right so i love this spell no just just <laughs> the worst and then one two five eight eight other boys are having it to see if they just succumb is it me that rolls it or is it you I don't know um, why it I'm is, rolling. It is, oh, I guess it's either roll, yeah. I suppose. Yeah. No, um, it's fine. It you does, can roll it. It doesn't say. Roll a dice for each model in the affected unit. I guess I could do it. You could I do suppose, it. Doesn't matter. I suppose you should be doing it. It's your spell. Okay. I'll, I'll take right. what I've rolled. That's fine. I won't yep. make you re roll it. Sure, sure. Um, so it's another eight, sir. Another, another eight, eight. Four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, here we go. Yep, sixes are just dead iron breakers. Oh, Ooh, another two. two! Another two of them just age in their armor and fall apart into skeletal nothingness. Spicy, max level spicy. Yeesh. Alright, I'll fix that up later. But cool. oof, wounded my battle standard bearer, killed the champion out from the unit, plus another two. Brutal. Nice. They're aging quick, and now that's just gonna keep getting worse every turn, unless Correct. I can roll a 10 on 2d6 in my turn. Uh oh! Correct. Okay, sir. Um, to spell, yeah. You had yep. one dice left. Yes, I did. Um, we're going to cast Invocation of Nehek, see if we can raise some skellies. So I'm going to do three plus, obviously. Yeah, yeah, uh, you oh, get yeah, it. That works. Uh... And how many skellies do we get if less than five models are created? Yes, yeah, so it has to be five oh, or so six. it's only on a five plus yeah. here, my friend. You're getting them. No, no, so no there work. was not enough power to raise the dead from no, the mud right. here. No, indeed. Okay, well, that's that is the end magic of the magic done. phase. Yep. We got some shooting. We do. So the Banshees are going to shoot. So, first Banshee shoots at the General's unit. Yep. Nada. No, that's nothing. And second, second Banshee. Banshee on the General's unit. Nada. No, no oh, sir, not this time. It's about nothing. time they didn't just kill everything exactly. they screamed at. <laughs> um, all right, that's magic phase. No, that's shooting phase done and magic phase done. We've yep. just got one combat to resolve, sir. Correct. And my dwarves go first because we are initiative at three. We're swift little dwarves because slayers have one more initiative than any of the other dwarves. All my Ooh. other dwarves are initiative too. So the uh, the giant slayer hitting on threes. 
Yeah, oh. yeah, all right, all right. He's <laughs> mad. Nice. Killing on three. Sorry, not killing. One wound, sir, and you will have a six up armor save against it. For one wound? One yep. wound with a six okay. up armor save against it. Oh, no. no, it does not do it. No, very good. So that is one skeleton blapped. Um, and so then it'll be another two, four, six, eight attacks. Oh. Coming in at needing threes. Oh, ooh, that's... um. Yep, that's half the hits missed. <laughs> God damn it! <laughs> and then fours, we get a single one, which you'll have a five up armor save against. These slayers are not particularly killy. This is the worst. No save. Well. We do kill one, sir. Yeah, well, so you'll have four dead. attacks coming back at me. Okay, here we go. One, two, three, four. Hitting on fours. Nothing. Nothing. Wow. <laughs> okay, nothing. so they crumble. They're gone, they sir. Are, with yeah. the, with the, the combat res, ranks, yep. our number, everything. Definitely, yeah. Gone, sir. Yeah. All right, that is the combat phase done, and that that's the end of Vampire Count's turn five. Ooh, so we're dwarves. coming back, indeed, coming back with the Dwarves' turn oh. five. Dwarves' turn five, charges to declare. I am declaring a few of them. My general's unit is going to charge into that Banshee in front of them. They need to take a fierce test to do it. They pass it on an eight. Nice. Lovely. Um... I'll start over here. My my dwarf warriors are going to declare a charge into this here nice. dragon. They're going to give it a shot. They need a fear test to achieve it. Correct. They're okay. Good. Hang on, hang on. No, they are, we need to measure that because they are going through the forest, which is going to cost oh, them movement. Okay. Right. Um, and these guys, uh, I could just reform and get ready for the 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 charge here, but I I feel like that might be six inches. I feel like it might be. I feel like it might be just close enough that I can get to, to him. I'm doing it. I'm declaring a charge against right. him. Cool. Um, do you? Do you? Are you going to hold? Um, it, as a charge reaction. Yeah, he'll hold. He'll hold. All yeah. right. And they need to make a fear test to achieve it. <laughs> they do. They will. Oh, geez. Ooh, very sorry, nice. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Good. Um, I do get it. So huzzah! All right. So we'll measure up these charges, and we'll be back where everything is. Ooh. So this is where everything is before the movement phase, and this is where everything ends up. <laughs> okay. So the general's unit, boom, has charged in, maximizing. So it's got the, mass, the, the maximum three units in close combat, but just making sure that my uh, my Thane is in there because he's the one with the magic weapon. Um, these guys made it. They were like just over three inches and because they were going through the forest, boom, they could get in there. So boom, dwarves have charged a dragon, terrifying. And this was out by like a quarter of an inch. Yep, the so tiniest close. little margin. So, so they close. had just failed forward three inches and there <laughs> they are. Um, Slayers have, you know, done a couple of inches wheel and pushed up. They're, they're not going to get there in a turn, but there they are. There they are. They're coming up thematically to help. <laughs> um, these nice. guys, I very much considered charging the Banshee because I would be winning, like, if, if she managed not to hurt me, I've outnumbered with a rank, so I could potentially just kill her on combat res. But I decided not to, because I think I can dial up some shots on that vampire and maybe put him down. He's only got one wound left. We can only hope. So that was the thought process. That's what's happening. That is the movement phase done. Let's get into the dwarf phase. It's not much of a phase anymore, people. <laughs> <laughs> so this is being done. It's not attacking, but it's, you know, it's being been ready. Fixed it's fixed. It's plunged. Hopefully they've figured out whatever was been tampered with it by the, the, the filthy, <laughs> filthy dregs that messed it up. We'll see. You may, maybe have one turn to redeem yourself, you dog. Um, so let's see how many of these guys are in range to shoot that dra uh, that uh, the the vampire. They're all in there range. Heck yeah, they are all in range. So it's gonna be ten shots. It's gonna be ten shots. You're over half range, so I'm hitting on fives. All right, here we I go. I need a few of these. Go hurrah! Ooh, yeah. Okay. Oh, that wow, was I got quite a lot. Way yeah. more than the average. Okay, <laughs> I got four of them. Four of them. A single three plus here will kill him. Ooh. A single three plus. Don't mess it up now, <laughs> boys. Yeah. Right, yeah all of them. All of them. Kill we just him. pump him with bullets, and he, he is down. He's out. Of, we out kill of the, the vampire thrall. Very just nice. Dun, 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 boom. The the thunder is unleashed and put down the horse. You know, smashing him with bullets, and he just kind of crumbles as the as the magic holding him together. 
finishes him off. Nice. Awesome. Well done. You've been the star of my shooting phases, boys. You've been doing all right. <laughs> um, which is sad. But and we sad. thought they were just a sacrificial lamb. Totally. They were just out <laughs> on the flank by themselves just to cop the, the, the freaking flyers. They're the flyers. only ones with a full unit. But they're doing the it. I know. Yeesh. Ridiculous. <laughs> okay. Well, mm. we've got some combat phases. So let's do them. Um, we're going to start over here. We've got my Thane. The battle standard bearer, Thane Thorin. He's swinging in. He needs threes to hit. He's missed half of them. God oh, damn ouch. it. God damn it. <laughs> he needs twos to wound. Yeah. And then he's failed <laughs> one. Oh, for God's sake. For God's sake. I've done a single wound to her. She does one a wound, wound on the banshee. <laughs> Jesus. Uh, where does she want to put her tax back in response? Um, on the battle standard, I think. Makes sense. Well, let's uh, do that. So she's got two attacks. Two attacks. Yep. She's going to be hitting on fours. Wait, what's her weapon skill? Uh, three? She, I think it's three. Yeah, it's three. Yeah, yep. so hitting on fours. Sir. Here we go. She gets Ooh. them both. It's spicy. She's two wounding hits. on fives. Wounding on fives. All right. Oh, she one gets wound. one. That's all that she needs. That's Ooh, all she needs that to kill is all him. She needs. He has Armor save is what? Gromril armor with oh. a wound of stone. So it's three up. Three, three up. Statistics right. say he lives. What does the game say? What does the dice say? Does the banshee pull him down as he attempts to hit her? She, she does! Right. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, my well. God. So the, the banshee wins, my friend. is slain. Indeed. Ridiculous. My beautiful old man. It's because he, you know, the, 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 the wound to his hip was too much for Just him. Just too much for him to handle. Too much That's for him. It. That is that. Okay, woof. Lame. What the hell? <laughs> All right, so I did a wound, you did a wound. That's a wash. I outnumber. We're the standard and the yep. battle standard bearer. Kill her through static combat res. Correct. And she, she just dissipates. Dissipates into the ether. Lovely. Awesome. Yeesh. God damn it. Oh, I forgot. Sorry. <laughs> In my magic phase, I'm going to attempt to get rid of Curse of Years. Okay, I'm going to sure. try and get rid of Curse of Years. I've got two dice. It's the only yep. thing I've got. I need to roll a 10. 10, correct. If I roll a 10, I'll get rid of it. Oh, Give me a 10. Give me a 10! 9! Oh, oh, damn it! All right, they're still was... cursed. <laughs> ah. That was very close. God damn very it. Close. All right, here we go. We've got this combat over here. So I can just put shots into your into your vampire, right? I don't have to... I don't randomize between the, the beast and the vampire in close combat combat. Oh, is that correct? I don't know. All right, well, we're going to have already... to check because yeah. um, I want to kill him. <laughs> <laughs> um, we'll check exactly how that works and we'll be back with the big fight, the vampire, yes, zombie, dragon, will. and just standard warriors. Oh. So yes, I can just direct my attacks into either the, uh, the, the rider or the dragon. And looking at the stats, it's much worse for me to attack the dragon. But even so, on average, I'm probably only putting through a single wound on this vampire. That's if if the dice go like the averages say. But I'm doing it. I'm putting the whole front line into the, the vampire. See if we can swing our great axes and put him down. We have six attacks because there's five of them there and one of them is a veteran slash champion. Now, because they're in base contact with a zombie dragon, they're all hitting at minus one to hit. So instead of fours, we're hitting on fives. All right, show me a big roll here. Come on. Finish it off. Finish it off. Oh, but, oh God, that's not a good sign. Drop dice. <laughs> the gods hate drop dice. Fives? Yeah, the, god, the gods Ooh. hate it so much. That was one less than the average, <laughs> and it was the drop dice that didn't hit. And we're wounding him on a four. Come on. I do Ooh. wound him. He takes a wound. One He's wound. down to two remaining. Um, all nice. right, sir. You can swing back as you see fit. Okay. Well, first up, we'll have the zombie dragon with his four attacks. Yeah. And he's got a weapon skill of three. Okay. There we go. He gets two hits. Two hits. Very good. And his strength what? Strength is Five. six. Six. Wow. Yes. Killing on twos. He does. Yes. He kills two. The dragon pulls two down two dwarves thrashing about with his undead claws. Beautiful. All right. And now the vampire, sir. Yes. The vampire is up next. He has five attacks, which is crazy. Indeed. He's got um, negative two weapon skill. Yes, he does. So that's a six weapon skill. <laughs> that's so crazy. <laughs> All right. He's hitting on threes. Wow. wow. Oh my that god! Is so bad. This is incredibly wow. holy crap. Okay. That is, uh, wow. Okay. Um. Yeesh. <laughs> unlucky, dude. That's that is brutal. very unlucky. Yep. Um. Okay. Dragon was thrashing about. Yeah. A bit too much. Uh. What is his strength? Five. Ooh. Strength is only five. So yeah. that's not a wound, not dude. A wound. No. Wow. Ooh. Okay. Ooh. Okay. No so. Good. Um. Ugh. 
So you got two wounds. Yep. Um, I got, I think that's it, right? Two wounds is, you know, two get, wounds is all I get. That's it, yeah. yep. I got yep. a wound, I had a rank, a banner, and, a, and, and outnumber. So you crumble by two? So the way it works is the controlling player, if it is a character or a character riding a monstrous mount, the controlling player gets to allocate the wounds as he sees fit. And there were two of them. And what did you decide to do with them, Dwayne? I decided to put them on the dragon. Yes, very good, save sir. the general. <laughs> very good, unsurprising. So the dragon is down to three wounds remaining and the, dra the, the, the general is still on two. So that is it. That is that combat done. That is the end of Dwarves turn five. Coming back with Vampire Count's final turn of the game for them. Ooh. Turn six. Nice. Vampire Count's turn six, final turn of the game, charges to declare, and I believe we have one, sir. We do. So our last remaining Banshee is going to charge the general unit up the ass. Oh no, oh, we're right in his keister. Very That's good, it. sir. That will be a leadership check for them. We pass it. We're not scared. We don't Easy. mind. Uh, we don't have to measure that. She can just boom, get straight in there, maximizing boom. There she is. She's in. Um, it's magic phase time, sir. All right, magic phase. Here we go. The best part. The best part. So we're going to use four dice. And we're going to cast the Invocation of Nehek and oh. raise some skeletons. Excellent, sir. Let's make our logo on the infantry side of things. Indeed. Here we go, casting on 11 plus this time. Oh boy. We're bringing back a lot, hopefully. You do get it. I do. Okay, so that's 5, 9, 10, 11, 12. I'm going to add one point to that for being a Necrock. That's 13. 13. Ah, look, I'll just throw all my dice at it and try and stop it, because <laughs> uh, cause screw that. Oh, wait, or well, can I? I can throw these dice at Curse of Years this round, can't you can. I? I can. Correct. Yes. And I just need that on a ten. Uh, uh, skeletons. What can you do with skeletons? You can get annoying. You could definitely just pop them in a table corner, and that'd be <laughs> annoying. Um, nah, I don't want that to happen. I'm going to try and get rid of this on that thirteen. Roll high. No, Ooh. I don't think I do. What is that? 10, 11. Oh, <laughs> not quite. All right, sir. Bring back your skellies. Fantastic. What are they so doing? We have 3d6 skellies popping up. Okay, that's 10. 10, 10 skeletons. Nice. Where are they popping, sir? I'll take that. Skeletons are going to pop up somewhere right within 18 inches. Generals. Yep. Ah. Right in front of the general's unit there. Wow. All right. Interesting. Damn. Our second spell. With my final two remaining dice, I'm going to cast. Ben Hell's Dance Macabre. Oh, oh very, very good. Good. Very good, sir. Uh, <laughs> gnarly, yeah. So this is casting on a 9 plus, so okay. it is a bit of a... Um, it's a risk. All right, so 2d6 plus 1, looking for a 9 here. Let's go. Here we go. No, no sir. No, no Van Hills. No, that sucks. Unfortunate, unfortunate. Um, right. And that's it, that's magic phase done. That is Shooting magic phase. phase. Can she scream while she's in combat? Uh, yes, she can. All right, she can use it, but it has to be at the unit she's fighting. Correct. So there we go, sir. Scream away. 2d6 plus 2. 2d6 plus 2. Looking Here we to go. beat 10. No. Oh, no. No love this time, my friend. And our last trick we had. Okay, so it's combat time, sir. Where do you want to start? Zombie mm. dragon or, or this? I'm going to start with... Hmm. Yeah, we'll start with the zombie dragon. Let's okay, sir. What is that? Um, I have great weapons, so I am fighting okay. last. So okay. swing at me, sir. Yep. Cool. Let's do this. Four attacks. Weapon skill three. Getting three hits. That's nice. that's above average. Well done, Very sir. And just good. killing on twos because it's strength six for the dragon. Ooh, killing three. Three more dead. Solid, solid Very work. Nice. And then the vampire, the sir. Vampire Let's see if Lord. the vampire Lord can do a little better this round. Five attacks. Hitting on threes. There you go. Only missing one. Miss. one. That yep. is better. Cool. He's better. strength five, I think. Correct. Okay, he's wounded on threes. You get them all. Ooh, At strength nice. five, you just kill him. That's another four dead, sir. Two, three, four. Yeah. Uh, that just leaves the command group, but actually all it leaves in terms of fighting is the champion. Unit champion's left. Ooh. He's swinging uh, just at the vampire. Let's try and get that vampire hitting on fives because of... Nope. <laughs> because of flies. The flies are in their eyes. They're in their nose. It doesn't feel good. <laughs> oh boy, that's not good. Okay, so, so this time you killed the, what, four with your vampire and... Yep. 
three with your the dragon. <laughs> with the dragon, That's quite a bit. Um, uh, you current, you also outnumber me now. Yeah, um, strength wise, yep. But I have a banner. <laughs> 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 so Ouch. I'm losing by three, six, seven. Ouch. That brings my leadership down. Uh, I would be within twelve inches of him. Mm-hmm. So that brings my leadership down to three. Leadership three. Here Good we go. Work. Can you hold? Please, oh god, no, I dropped the dice again. <laughs> sorry, dice gods, I'm sorry. No, nah, they're running, they're, they're running. running, sir. Do you want to chase? Oh, yeah, why not? You will, very yeah, good. We not? are running 2d6 minus one, which will be a seven, sir. A seven? And I'm assuming you will be going 3d6 because you're a, you're a flying, you're a flying, flying dragon. dragon. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> well and truly. What is that? That's uh, 12, 12. Uh, 30, 40, 15. 15. So I think you are running like you're on the ground for a pursuit. So once you hit the this, you will start running through it, but you destroy okay. the unit. Yep. Um, we'll come back with how far he goes. Oof. Very nice. Uh, very nice. We'll be back with that. And that's where it ends up, running along the ground, hitting the forest, and then uh, straight through, still remaining within it, and completely and utterly out of... Uh, out of out of danger. <laughs> I mean, I could maybe put a cannonball in it at the last turn. It's two inches from the edge. I can still see him. <laughs> oh, man, that'd be glorious. We'll see. We'll see. All right, we've got this combat here. The Banshee. I can't hurt you, so swing away at me, sir. Two attacks hitting on fours. All right. Two attacks hitting on fours. Here we go. Getting one. Oh, Wounding hits. on fives. No, no wounds. No wounds. Um, so, oh wait, Curse of Years, that's what's supposed to happen. Correct, we it need was. To, we need yep. to roll a thing for okay. each other. Let's do that now. Let's so, do that. We'll do your champions first. Uh, so just the general, he's the only one just left general? in there. So a single okay. dice, he takes so a wound on a five now. Correct. Because it's yep. the second turn of him getting old. No, no he's all right. Yeah, he's fine. And then there's another two, four, eight. Another eight dice, sir, four, and any fives are dead men. Ooh, here we go. Eight dice, looking for fives. I see one, two. One, I see two. Two, two fives. Very two, good, yeah. sir. Excellent. Boom. And that would have happened in the magic phase before the combat phase. Correct. Yeah. All right. So again, let's have a look. I have a banner with the rune of battle on it, and I outnumber you. She is she dead. She crumbles, sir. She Off she disappears. goes. Ran into the back of me Ooh. and floated away. <laughs> the general remains. Ooh. That is, Ooh, it. that is it. That is it. Oh, well. Yeah, no, I think I owe you a panic check there, sir. Our unit was destroyed within six inches of them. So, okay. panic check for those boys. They're all right. They're they don't fine. panic. They're not too worried about it. Um. Okay. Okay. And that's it. That is Vampire Counts, turn six. Final turn of the game. Dwarves, turn six. Let's see what we can do here. My general's unit's going to charge them skeletons. Because screw them skeletons. <laughs> no, they fail their leadership oh. test. They can't do it. Oh, oh God shit. damn it. Oh, that sucks. Very good. Okay, lame. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay, sweet. Well, that's the only charge. Um, there's no point in doing any movement. All these guys do, can do is spin. All these guys can do is move. Yep. Nothing's happening. Um, so let's go straight into the shooting phase. This let's is it. Do it. It's the final phase of the game because there's no combats. Let's see if the cannon can redeem itself. Can now. it? Can the cannon <laughs> redeem itself? Come on, mate. Can you snipe a dragon or a vampire? Either way, that would be glorious. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go 14 inches forward. I'm gonna go 14 inches forward. Can you measure me out 14 sure inches, can. please, sir? There we go. 14 inches lands it right there. Oh, I've maybe overshot a little because um, an eight might just land it on the on the corner of his base over the top there. A 10 will go over him for sure. Don't mess it up. Come on, an eight. Oh, an we're eight. gonna have to check it. What do you reckon? Does it land on top of him or not? No, that God sucks. damn it, I've just Spewed. missed, mate. Ah, an inch back, an inch, one inch less of guessing would have been fine. Yep. God damn it. God damn it. All right. Well, Thunderers. Can the Thunderers do it? They can see him. Why the they hell They are the heroes not? of this game. Yes, right? yes. Let's see. Can they be the heroes the dwarves need but don't deserve? <laughs> because God damn it. Oh, 
Shooting has just been the worst. Just the worst. I don't think it's hit a single thing. Hasn't hit a thing this game. God damn really? you, Cannon. I don't think wow. so. Don't think so. Jeez. But maybe I'm wrong. I, I'm remembering it very poorly. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Thunderers. It's over half range, but it's plus one to hit because you're a large target. Right. So we are hitting. Oh, but you're in the woods, which is another negative Ooh, one to hit. No. Okay. So we're hitting on fives. Hitting on fives because soft cover of the woods. Wow, we get, again, pretty Not good. Not too bad. Above average. We're yeah. doing above average on the shooting every time. Um, so now these are randomizing. One to four is the dragon. Five and six is the vampire. Three on the dragon. Ooh. One on the vampire. The dragon would be dead if he doesn't save. If I get it all. Yeah. If I get them all. Your toughness, five. So it's fives to wound. Yeah, get them all. No, I get a single wound on One him. Wound. Uh, no yeah. armor save, so it is just, oh, just no take away. It? Uh, it's no armor save because it's um, negative two. Negative uh, one for okay. strength four and armor piercing, and he's just got a five up save. Right, so yeah. he takes cool. a wound, right. and the one wound on the necrotch. Yes, it wounds him. No Ooh, other save for him. Uh, so the Necrotch, Necrotch, the Necrarch is down to one, one wound. wound. And the uh, the dragon took a wound as well, down to two wounds remaining. Oh. Both of them are barely alive. Barely alive. Barely that is him. it. Oh, boy. That is it. That is the that is end game. of the game. Um, we will uh, we'll tally up the points. Cool. Um, it's looking it's looking like a like a dwarf victory here, people. Yeah, I um, think so. But we'll we'll tally up the points. We'll figure out what kind of victory this is and who it goes to. But that is it. That is the exciting end to the uh, the mountain battle. The Necrarch will most likely not be getting their book of power this game most this likely turn. Not. But that is it. <laughs> Stick around for the post game. And there it is! There it is! It is a dwarf victory in the end. A dwarf solid victory. A solid victory indeed, sir. It was uh, 624 points of difference when it came to the points after we tallied everything up, which does come to a solid victory. Awesome. Good game, homie. It was a good game, Good man. game. That was, was really awesome. good. Yep. Loved but, it. Woof, it was a strange one. The vampire counts just couldn't cast spells. No, they couldn't. What the hell? No, and, and the dwarf cannons just couldn't shoot. <laughs> What the hell is it going was a, on there? It was a strange one. It was it a was. strange one. Um, but yeah, some um, some really fun stuff. Some cool stuff. Really cool to get the vampire counts on the channel, man. Oh, it's man. awesome, man. Yeah. Um, I've, I've, this is my 10th game of 6th edition ever. Mm. So yeah, it's good. Oh, I've yeah, won dude. two of those games out of the 10. So yeah. Oh um, man, we've got to get you back and roll some more <laughs> dice. We've got, to, we've got to bring up that win ratio a little That's bit. That's right. Exactly. But yeah, that was a lot of fun. That was a lot of fun. That was that, awesome, yeah. Um, yeah. Your, your vampire lord on the zombie dragon is terrifying. Oh, Super it's great. terrifying. It'd be even more terrifying if it was painted. Yeah, well, so, I mean, we'll, that we'll might be, up. you know, that could be a part of it, man. The dice gods <laughs> do not love the grey model, so, true. you know, get get some paint on that Very bad boy, true, bring him back in, and I'm sure Hell he'll yeah, perform man. like ass. a beast. Next game, what do you reckon, 10,000 points? <laughs> <laughs> No, no. Maybe next game I'll throw um, my orcs and goblins up against these guys, man. That yeah, could be cool. fun. It'll yeah. be a far less good matchup for me, but in the same way the dwarves are not an amazing matchup for vampire counts. Right. We'll just go back the other way. Yeah, you know, cool. I'll throw the, yep. the hordes of bad leadership against awesome. the fear causing things. <laughs> we'll see how that goes. But yeah, the, the, that is it. But look, guys, that is it. If you enjoyed this game, don't forget, like, subscribe, hit the bell, do all the things. Um, follow me on Facebook and Instagram. Link in the description but until next time I'm Stoss I'm Dwayne Woolley happy wargaming and be good to your mother <laughs>